Nick, did you know that this episode is brought to you by Ice Shaker? I did not. Ice Shaker is sponsoring BroChat, and they have provided us with the 36 ounce and the 24 ounce ice shakers. Do you have an ice shaker? I, I don't. I think I need one. Dude, why don't you have an ice shaker? Do you know how long you keep stuff cold? It's like you, 10 hours you keep drinks cold in this thing. You said that's a 36 ounce? Sir? Yeah, so this is good for your intra. It's 36 I ounce. That my intra. That's very valuable. Right. And this is good for your pre-workout. Absolutely. Ice Shaker also has food bags. You have your, have you seen the food bags yet? No, please do show. I'm going to show you the food bags. So right now, these are the shaker bottles. This is a 36 ounce. I just showed you the 24 ounce. They have this little skinny one, which I don't think you could use. But they also no. have these awesome cooler bags that are waterproof. Uh, so, you know, if you spill anything in there, if you put ice in there and stuff, uh, the water won't leak out. So it's like really high quality stuff. How many meals fit in those? I don't know. It looks like you fit like, you know, like three of these, like three meals. That's perfect. You think you're going to get one? I am absolutely going to get one. Well, if you guys want to get one, use code RBP at uh, iceshaker.com and get 20% off your whole order. Nick, use code RBP, get 20% off your order. I sure will. Nick, you are the fucking celebrity of the day. That was a great video. Dude, how do you... You're actually a good fucking actor. I'm, I, I'm shocked. I was shocked I pulled it off considering my allergies are fucked up, but I, was, I watched it and I was like, that's pretty good. Listen, I, so I, for people listening, I called Nick. I said, I had, so, so Summer came up with, surprisingly, because Summer doesn't like to talk about like sexual shit. That was clever. So Summer's like, what if we get Nick to talk about ass? <laughs> I said, what? So it was her idea, right? But then I thought to myself, let's do it like a romantic scene, right? So I called Nick and I say, Nick, I need you to shoot this video. I need you to be romantic. I need you to speak in like a bar- <laughs> in like a very white, like deep fucking voice. And for those of you who haven't seen it, this is Nick's... Uh, this was Nick's interpretation of what I asked him to do. It's absolutely fucking awesome. Let me see if I can uh, wait. Let me. Got, I got to share with sound. Uh, share with sound. Yes. Okay. You guys got to check this out. <laughs> and I have a confession to make. I'm addicted to eating cookies and cream protein. I love eating cookies and cream protein. Man, I remember the first time. I ate cookies and cream protein. It was the greatest thing ever. When you open it up, so sweet smelling, so smooth looking. And the taste, the taste of it when it hits your lips is so good. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't eat cookies and cream protein. Sometimes I call my girl over to Netflix and chill, and I just end up eating cookies and cream protein all night. When I'm training, all I think about is eating cookies and cream protein. When I'm prepping my chicken and rice, all I think about is eating cookies and cream protein. If you haven't tried eating cookies and cream protein, I feel bad for you. <laughs> That's, my That's my favorite part. I feel bad for you. <laughs> I think good. I think I'm good. shocked. This the tone and the pitch. It was all like I couldn't believe you did it. I was like, what the fuck? I couldn't do that. Yeah, it was good, man. It was good. I know as soon as like you told me you need this shit by Wednesday, I was like, okay. <laughs> I just hit this dude up and I'm like, yo, I need you to come to my house tomorrow at like one. Can you can you do it? And he yeah. was like, oh yeah, sure. And then like this is my first time filming with this dude. So the first thing we're filming is fucking me talking about ass. <laughs> so like I, I didn't know how this was gonna go with this kid. Yeah, but he probably knows. Does he know about the whole? No, podcast? he didn't know who. I oh, was. he doesn't know anything about the podcast. No. So he. So I had to like kind of give him a little background on me yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah. <laughs> and I thought this kid was gonna like laugh the whole time I'm talking. Fuck me up. I'm gonna laugh. Yeah. This man held the straightest face every time. 
And I almost started laughing because he's holding his. I wonder if he was distraught by the fucking words or if he was just like that professional that he was like just I, zoned I don't in. Know, but like, I was amazed. I was like, he, he's not even budging here. <laughs> he's like, good though. He's good though. He yeah. lit it. He did exactly what I wanted him to do. And then I know. He, he, yeah. As soon as he left, he had to go to like Derek Rumsford's house to do something. Yeah. And then he texts me like two hours later. He's like, I'm all done. Send me the email. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that's fucking great. Well, we got somebody. That's good. I mean, when your brother can't make it, that means you got somebody good there. Yeah. Because yeah. he knows, seems to know what he's doing. He seems like he's good yeah. at what he does. Got a nice backup. Yeah. One second. I think we got Mr. Sister Nino. Oh, we're going to talk about Sweden? Yeah. Hey, yeah, there about. he is. Hey. I fucking missed you. You've been gone for two weeks. I miss myself. <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, uh, fucking... or, how you been? You've been gone for two fucking weeks to Sweden. Dude, I'm fucking so out of it. Are you I, was back, I was in Pakistan for eight days and I was home for like I think eight and then gone for 13. Yeah. Yeah. You still have jet lag? Oh, dude. I don't know if I'm coming or going, but all I know is I've been strong. I got off the plane yesterday. I was strong as an ox in the gym. And then I, I buried myself in legs. I am actually like nauseous from legs. I haven't guy, done guy, you are a better bodybuilder than I am because well, you got off I'm a retired. plane. I know, but I'm saying you got off a plane being retired and you still went to the gym. I'm like, if I'm I'm retired, man, I get off a plane, I'm going to sleep. No, okay. I was so excited to go to the gym, bro. Why? You trained when you were in Sweden the whole like, time. I was like home, and I'm like in my element, and I'm like I'm back to my fucking like normal shit. I was like, get me to the fucking gym now. I know the feeling. You know what? I, you know what I was gonna say. Sometimes when you're gone for a while and you get home, you're just you have this like exhilaration. Yeah. yeah. And then it, after you like after you're home and you relax, you just crash, and you're and like, now I'm, after this, I'm gonna die tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking crash out of my couch. Yeah, yeah. So how was Sweden? It was good, man. We had a lot of fun, but it was busy. So you're tired, and he's got allergies. Are you sure you guys want to do this today? Yeah. Wait. Who, yeah. Wait, who are you pointing good, to? Bro. You're um, you're here, and Nick's down here. Well, who okay. is here and guys here? Nick, I'm, Nick, first of all, Nick, I'm never down there with you, buddy. N- you're, Nick's you're right there, guy. You're underneath me. Okay. Well, now I guess then I got to switch this around, so I got to put Nick on top. It's Where's Nick to you here? Nick's top left. Top, so I got to switch Nick. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, right. on top right, guys yeah. on the bottom. I'm on the bottom now for both. He's years. in this general area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, I have no problem ripping that little fucking schmeckle right off. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys are fucking wiped out, we'll just re- we'll just regroup. No, because it's gonna be fucking even better. Because yeah, I'm, like, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Why do you um, look like you're in the fucking Squid Games room, bro? What are you talking about? Fucking Nick, it looks yellow and red like oh, the Nick. Game. It's the McDonald's house he's in. Yeah, yeah what? It's, the new, it's the new crash pad. He got a new what place. You, fucking Rob and McDonald's? Yeah, bro. Exactly where <laughs> I got it from. Is it really yellow and red? Do you think my background lies? I don't know. I, I told him to paint it. He said he likes the yellow. <laughs> I like it. Well, at least it's at least it's vibrant. He's happy every yeah, day. It's different. It stands out. It's fucking awesome. All right, retro fitness. I do got to get you a microphone though, because you're you're like echoing in the kitchen there. I know. Well, I, have, I have high ceilings. Look, see. I, see I know. That? Yeah, I can see that. Is this your new house? Yeah. Is, is there even furniture in it? It's echoing like fucking temple. Yes, I have furniture. Oh, relax. It's a simple question. When I first moved in, I didn't have a lot of furniture. I just took all the furniture from my old place. And yeah, but you didn't win. There. You didn't win the Arnold's before you moved in. He's got a lot of money. Yeah. I, I was broke. Yeah. I he, was can afford, he can afford furniture. <laughs> yeah, stop being a fucking bum. He said he's got furniture. Still, his house is so this, big. His house is, is a, so big. It this is. is a bigger house than my other one. How big? Oh, it's pretty big. Give us a tour. Give us another tour, Nick. He hasn't seen it. You, you want another tour? Okay. The tour. So what the fuck have you guys been up to? A lot, a lot, a lot of action going. I on bought a motorcycle. That. Yeah, stupid move. No, 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 I pick it up. I pick it up tomorrow, guy. We've literally talked about 
I think it's a great batch. I've, I've even talked about being the first to three bike accidents and you go ahead and get a bike. I bought a motorcycle. I pick it up tomorrow. I'm just going to jump decision. on. I'm going to jump on and ride it home. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm not an idiot guy. I'm picking up a new hobby that I love. And How do you love it if you've never done it? Because I know I'm going to love it. <laughs> No, actually, you're right. You're right, guy. I don't know if I'm gonna love it because I I talked to you know I was talking to Paul and I was talking to my wife about this and I'm like, I might hate it because you know in the fucking summertime I got to put a helmet on and a jacket and I might be like, I'm sweating. It sucks. I don't like the shit. So I don't. It's just it's like I, I've been on fucking four wheelers and like mopeds and dirt, but like that on a road, like if if one wrong move and it's not like you have like why are you give me bad why are you give me like why are you jinxing me because I've been like there, bro. It's bad juju, as Nick would say. Bad juju. I, you should just be like, I'm happy let for you, bro. Let the Keep man live. He's retired. He's doing well. Let him, let him ride a bike. Yeah. yeah, guy. Come on. All right. No, you know what? It's. I'll tell you. You want the honest truth, guy? So all right. Guy, I'm not concerned for your well-being at all. Go no, ride no, no, no. The, as fast as you can with your eyes closed. <laughs> no, listen. Well, this is, I didn't say all that now. This is the honest truth. It's been something I've wanted since I was like 20. But I was bodybuilding, and I didn't want to do it while I was bodybuilding in case I fell or something. And now I'm older. That doesn't and I'm more... worry you now? No, because I'm honestly the way I used to drive in my 20s. Like I wouldn't have trusted myself on a motorcycle. I'm more like I'm more chill now. So like I could ride a motorcycle responsibly. Yeah. But it's also a bucket list item, and honestly, not to be a downer, but with all the things that have happened to friends lately, I'm like, you know what? It's just something I want to do. I want to just cross it off the list and yeah. be like, I did it. I bought a bike. I rode, even if it's for one summer, I never do it again. Yeah. So yeah. So I got just a bike. Drive. Just, just don't drive like an asshole. Well, the other thing too, is I don't plan on doing a lot of city riding. Like I live right next to the County here. So like I can literally get on my bike and go out to the County where, I mean, I would assume is safer than riding in traffic, but people yeah. are going to say, Oh, there's animals that cross the road and shit. So who knows? It could be safer. Couldn't maybe not, but. Yeah, I, I feel like city traffic riding is probably more dangerous. Yeah, don't be one of those assholes either. That, that you know how many people I see on the road driving and I, I'm always like on texting. No. Like, oh, no. dude, all the fuck, really? all the time. Listen, man, I have, I mean, I'd actually be scared to do that. Crazy. Have, in a car, I have no respect for the car. I drive a car like a fucking asshole, but I'm already yeah, like. Yeah. But on, on a bike, I, I have full respect for like what it is and what, what yeah. could possibly happen. Yeah, so it's, it's very, yeah, it's very, very different. So I bought a bike and I uh, also got rid of my TRX. Now you're the only TRX owner. What about Seth? Oh, Seth has got one too. That's right. Well, I mean, I mean, out of us, I don't, I'm, there's other Did you make money? Did you make, how many miles did it have on it? 5,000 kilometers. So it's like what? 3,000 miles or something like that. I did not make money on them because gas prices are so high right now that nobody wants them anymore. Yeah. I actually think I lost like, I lost like five grand on it. Really? My buddy made like fucking almost 10 K. <clears throat> Depends. Depends. I'm talking like they've dipped like in the last month. Yeah. <sighs> like if I would have, if I would have got rid of it two months ago, I probably would have made 10 grand. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just that. What did you get instead? The bike? No, I got a electric F-150. I went from gas guzzler yeah. to green energy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm friends with anybody on this podcast. I knew that would piss you off. <laughs> I didn't know like I, that. I didn't get set up. <laughs> I knew that would make you so angry. <laughs> let's, let, let, let's, let's, let's make Guy make a $97,000 mistake. <laughs> yeah. I didn't told you not to do it. I said, don't do it. You said, I'm doing it. I said, okay. You thought I was trying to talk you out of it. I was trying to tell you not to do it. <laughs> And you thought I was being that guy who's like, oh, you don't want to get it because I wanted to be the only one with one. I was being serious. It does it take was a lot of It is fun, though, isn't it? It's fun it's having fun. It. It, it. It eats gas. Oh, my God. It's brutal. It's eats fucking, gas. It's fucking brutal. It eats it. I fucking, some guy messaged me. He's like, if you can afford the truck, then you can afford the gas. I'm like, it's not about being able to afford the gas. Yeah, I, affording I don't is wanna, not the issue. It's just wasting the money. I don't want to spend money. the gas. Like, I don't want to yeah. spend the money. Why would I just waste it's yeah. two, it's literally two hundred and twenty bucks Canadian to fill it up. So like, that's I, absurd. 
I try to fill it up once I get to a half a tank because it's like 87 to fill like a half a tank. <laughs> it seems to go a lot faster in the second half too. <laughs> yes. So I just wait to fucking get to the half and I fill it fill right back up. up. <laughs> yeah. So basically every day you're filling it up because you just go through half a tank a day pretty much. And, and if you like punch it, you can like watch the fucking gas. But go. you can roast everything on the road. I Dude, literally. The is, I don't think people realize how fast no, it is. That's the best part about it. Punch it. Yeah, that's the best part about it. I've like gotten races and I just dust everything. Like, I don't I don't know how to do like the launch shit yet. I don't know how to do anything. Just that. push the button. All you do is push the button and then you gotta push the brake down and hold the brake while you push the gas. And then when you go about the little launch button next to the start button. You hit the little launch button and then you gotta but it also has the 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 screen where you can touch like performance and launch. And... Well, you should do that first. So basically I, I set up my custom so that it's like a, all the top settings. So just turn it to yeah. custom. Yeah. And then hit you don't I even just have to FaceTime listen, you one way. You don't even have to do that if you want to beat most cars. If you want to beat most cars, you don't have to launch, just stomp the gas and you'll be gone. <laughs> No, it's seriously, it's fucking ridiculous. That's what you know, Dave D Block. He goes, he goes, I use that launch thing. He goes, maybe three times. Like, because by the time you like are next to somebody and get it set up, he was like, you, the, the, the lights already turned. He goes, no, half the time I just I hit got, the gas and smoke everybody. No, man, you just all you listen, you're at a red light, you see a car, you already know you're gonna dust them, right? So you're like, okay, launch your foot's already on the brake. You hit the launch button and then it says apply brake and gas. So you just push the brake a little harder and you apply like half throttle. And then once the light turns fucking green, you drop the brake and go all the way down on the throttle and you're and fucking it's... gone. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't done, I haven't done that once. Oh, it's fucking great. It's amazing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's I think good. tomorrow when I get – actually, I, I didn't drive it yesterday and today because I'm waiting on my new templates to come in, um, which I get tomorrow. But uh, when I, I, I'll have to FaceTime you. People are listening are probably like, I just said I was responsible in a vehicle. Now I'm talking about how fast I drive yeah. my TRX. I dusted them. <laughs> um, it's different in a car. You're safe in Oh, a car. you know, I don't know what I saw in Sweden. And oh. Branch pointed it out, and I actually made me think of you because you're a car guy. In what? Sweden, because, like, everything is so fucking small. Like, the roads are, like, this big. Yeah, I know. There was a um, Ford F-150 Raptor. Yeah. That's oh, so you've seen them? Yeah, of course. Why not? I've never. Branch even said he's never seen one before. A Raptor? They've been around for like the. They're on the third generation. No, the small, a smaller Raptor. Oh, they have a Ranger Raptor. A yeah. Ranger Raptor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're new this year. That's it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. They have a Ranger Raptor, and they're more popular in Europe because they. they can't I've never fit. seen them over here. Yeah, they can't. That's fit. what it was. It was a Ranger. Sorry, not F one fifty. Yeah, they're gonna get them here. They can't fit the F. Oh, so so you haven't? Oh, well, you're not in the states. Um, they, they can't fit the F-150 Raptor on the roads over there because it's too can't. wide. Yeah, it's they too wide. So they get the Ranger Raptor, and they sell better in Europe than they do here because, obviously, they can drive them on the roads. Yeah. It was pretty fucking cool-looking vehicle. It's probably, it's probably fast as shit because it's so small. Uh, I don't think it's that much fast. I don't think it's faster than the regular Raptor. No, I didn't say it's fast, but I'm saying because it's lighter. So the Ranger Raptor is this thing. I'm not a big fan of it but i don't like small trucks so this is it here eh. Eh. no in, in person it does listen it's, it doesn't look better than the regular raptor by any yeah, means like that looks a lot better to me yeah oh well, um, yeah and you know i didn't realize how big the fucking trx was from my uh my rebel until it was in my driveway next to it yeah it's like eight inches wider than the regular yeah i think it's big so this is the F-150 Lightning. I don't, I'm trying to get black, but that's it. I'm going to have to put some big-ass wheels on it or something. So you got it already or you ordered it? I ordered it. It probably won't be in for a couple months. That's all right. That's nice. That's so you have, to, you have to buy, like, the kit to charge it? I don't that's know. I didn't, even, I didn't even ask about that. I'm probably going to have to put in some kind of special plug or something in my fucking house. Yeah, right? This is the interior. It's got this big ass fucking screen in the middle. Holy fucking shit, that's huge. Yeah, right. I don't know. We'll see if I if it's uh, the nice thing about it is there's not going to be very many of them around for a little while. So if I hate it, I can probably get rid of it in like a month or two. Yeah. And like not lose any money. What did that what did that go for? Well, there's a premium on them. Like they're supposed to be like 90. So I got it like fully, fully loaded. So it'd be supposed to be like 96 Canadian. Um so with the premium, I think it was 107 or something like that. 
So I don't even know. I don't even know what the conversion is. 107, 107 Canadians, like 80, 75 or 80 American. That's still not bad for a truck. That's no, fun. I mean, it's not, it's not like a Raptor or anything like that. It's just supposed to be a regular truck, but it's electric. Yeah. But it's cool. Cause you got the bed in the back and now you have a huge trunk in the front. Yep. Because there's no engine. You literally went from the worst economic vehicle <laughs> on the face of the planet to now like, I have to fucking be all fucking green. I'm growing up. I'm growing up right in front of you, guy. I'm growing. Meanwhile, up. I just got. I just turned forty. And had a midlife crisis. Thanks. <laughs> no, I am too. That's why I got a motorcycle. My midlife crisis is cheaper than yours. That's the only difference. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said that to me. Like, are you having a midlife crisis? I'm like, no. I really not. I just always wanted a bike. So anyway. it's so what's fun. going on? So what's Nick? Tell him what's up with you while he's been gone. Anything new happen to you? Happened to me? Yeah. No. I've been blabbing about myself for the last 10 minutes. Tell them anything's been happening. <clears throat> Chilling in Tampa, training hard. Well, show them your house. You have COVID? No, I don't have the vid. My dad just had it for like this third time. Is so, okay? Can I turn this thing around? Did Ready it- for this? This is this is the funniest part about it. Ready. He went to the he did an at-home test, was positive. And then, Nick, hold on, because I want to give you compliments and tear you down in, in, in places if I have to. Um, God, that couch is destroyed. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a fucking frat house, bro. <laughs> like, it's <laughs> <laughs> like a frat house. He's only 27. Fuck, man. Give kind of a break. Um, why, is the kill- why is the TV on the floor? Yeah, are you that fat? What did yeah. you do to those pillows, bro? That's my dog, that's his cage. This is the kitchen. Did you did you pay for Wi-Fi? It's clear. What are you talking about? Now it is. It wasn't. It's because you're moving around. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This this my center table. My center table. You're so cute. dining room. <laughs> so cute, Fred. <laughs> my front door. Your this boy, is my your one bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Check this out. The light switch. This is my garage. Ooh, it's a nice epoxy floor. I like that. Yeah, got my cardios. Yeah. What do you got in there? Wait, you got a step mill. What else? A bike. A bike. A bike. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you use that a lot? Every every day. Yeah. Eh? How hot is your garage though? Is it got to be hot as fuck in there? Bro, how oh, colorblind yeah. were these people that live there? <laughs> Like who who lands on I'm, I, like who lands on these, these colors? My first co- my first condo that I moved into has exactly these colors. I had to paint it right away. No, stop talking shit. No, we're not. We're not the house is nice. The people sucked at picking colors. Here's uh, one spare bedroom. I'm going there in May, guy. I'm going to stay there. I'm here's, gonna go here, here's okay. all my swords. Those are all my swords. That's the RBP swords. That's right. Yes, it is. Well, you're a hostile athlete, so technically it's a fucking conflict of interest. But I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> This is the other bathroom. I'm going to ignore that. And this is the other spare bedroom. That's your, that's your bedroom. What is how it? Many, four, four, how, many four spare, bed- how many spare bedrooms do you have? Uh, three bedrooms total. Two, two spare bedrooms. Two bedrooms. That's the one thing I love about Florida is I, like I have hardwood floors and with dogs, they just get fucking destroyed. Oh, God, and you're- in Florida, they're all like you know marble or stone guy this, you're this gonna sleep room. on the couch this is my room i'll sleep with nick hold on okay. I, I gotta sh- i'll show you guys the best part here you go oh, well you when you show us the best part can you put the light on check this bathroom out <laughs> you're such an asshole. <laughs> the bathroom is really nice that's cool yeah look at that tub i, I wish the toilet was in a water I closet fit. though the toilet should be in a water closet no i like it no, because you put it in a water closet, then you can't smell it. You can shit in there with the door closed. Nobody can smell it. Bro, the only yeah, thing... because Fuad now has me thinking every time I flush the toilet that particles fucking go up to six feet because he said Dude, it once the, the only, podcast. The only... I didn't every say time it. I flush, Google, it did. Google said it. Yeah, I know. But now every time look I fuck go to the bathroom and flush, I think of that every time. Oh no! That's... Look at this. There's no door. Well, that's not good. So, like, if I gotta take a shit and you're and, like, I have someone over, they, they're gonna hear me shit. That's weird. That's horrible, dude. I couldn't do that. No. I don't care. If I got to go, I got to go. Well, go downstairs to the other bathroom that has a door on it. Listen, if I like, 
If you're going to come to my house, you need to What happened? Dude, could you imagine a girl getting up in the middle of the night and taking a dump while you're sleeping and you hear it? Like, I, I would be like, get out of my house. <laughs> oh, well, I'm okay with that. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. You can't shit. Get out. No, like, you can know. shit. Just like, don't announce it. And I don't want to hear it. You know what I realized? Ooh. We're So me and Guy are doing this telegram thing with Evan. How funny is this? It's I realized, so I realized Jose is fucking hilarious. Dude, he's Every, fucking everything, laughing. everything Jose says makes me fucking laugh. Everything. He's like, you know, this is what I'm fucking doing. That's exactly what he sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so perfect. <laughs> Jose, Jose, I think it's his fucking the way he talks. I don't even know. Yeah. It's yeah. just he just fucking he's like, you know what I fucking think. Nick, you should have seen. So one day Evan was showing us like his breakfast. He's like, I make this breakfast, and he's like, 28 eggs in and a pan. Like, no, no, no. Listen, it's like he puts like pancake mix and all this, like it's really, really gourmet. And he and he mixes it all in like this massive like cake batter, cake mixer or whatever. Like a like a baking pan. Yeah. So then he puts them in baking pans and he puts them in the oven and he sections them off and he eats them like over the course of like five or six days. And all you see is Jose go. This is my breakfast. And he opens the oven and he pulls the, the cooking tray out and there's a thing of Ben and Jerry's on it. <laughs> We're fucking laughing our ass off. He's just like, yeah. he just an idiot. He just, I love so, he's so non, he's so not trying to be the perfect bodybuilder that it's fucking hilarious. It's just, so Jose is awesome. Yeah. We used to, oh, we, every Olympia or like show we did, if it was always me, Jose, and Flex backstage and some, most of the time, David Henry. Yeah. laughing our balls off i don't like think i could hang out with the three of you you got because flex kills me too i think you flex and jose hanging out together, oh my god i wouldn't Dude, I would all just, we do is make i would fun be of pissing my pants laughing the whole we just we time. would lay backstage and just make fun of everybody i gotta have jose on the podcast one day he's gonna fucking just i'll be laughing the entire fucking oh time. he's got stories about me i have stories about him so that's what nick's been up to nick moved Got a new place. How bad did you miss your dogs while you're gone? Oh my god, bad. <clears throat> yeah, bad. I like that's the one thing. Like being away, it's like I just I like I could I I pulled into my driveway, and I told my I told Dave I was like I'm going inside. I was like I'm leaving my bags here. Yeah. Hey guy. Wait, yeah. wait. I gotta show you this. Wait. <clears throat> I gotta show you this. What, Nick? Look. Look, this was this morning. He misses you. <laughs> he just stared oh, out the window. That's awesome. <laughs> every that's time I leave, the, awesome. every time I leave the house, he's just sitting there waiting for me to leave the driveway. That's hilarious. Yeah, he's a good boy. Guy, guy, guy Nick, Nick. Was, was there any drama in Sweden? I knew. I was waiting for it. He's not going to talk about it on the podcast. What? <sighs> oh, was... that drama! I forgot about that. Was there was was there drama? I'm, I'm not sure. I I I was disconnected. I didn't see. It. <laughs> Jesus. Can I? There's a little Martin and and Nick drama that I'm sure everybody in the industry. Then I woke up and fucking didn't the realize world, how, the world exploded. Yeah, I didn't realize the fucking bomb went off when I fucking fell, tried to fall asleep. You know, I, I I don't. I'm not trying to defend him at all, but it's just really bad timing. Yeah. Is really, really fucking bad timing. Yeah. You know? It doesn't matter bad timing or not. No, no, I know. It's not something... Listen, like I said, I'm not trying to defend him. It's not something you should fucking say to anybody. Especially... It's just not... I don't think I've ever insulted somebody that way. It's like... No. It's really like kind of crossing the line. Because none of us... Bit. Like, look, all of us have people that we don't like in the industry, yeah. but none of us wish harm on them. You know what I mean? So, like, that's a little. I even listen. I call Nick and I'm like, I'll, I'll, if you want me to delete all this, I was like, I'll delete it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, leave it up. <laughs> that's what I respect yeah. about. That's what I respect about Nick. He don't listen. give a. He don't give a fuck. He's like, you're gonna say it. Go ahead and say it. I fucking. He just goes with it. I mean, yeah. listen. Like, there has to be a mutual respect among every single bodybuilder, regardless if you if you like them as a person or not. There, there's, you know, we all do this together. And we yep. all lose people together. So there's a mutual respect that needs to be there and unspoken at all times, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I don't feel like regardless of, of if people like each other, 
like regardless of what Nick said, that Nick and even if they didn't like each other, Nick's comment, even the re, that reaction wasn't a quote. So I thought, but one second here. First of all, and <clears throat> for, forgive me for being out of touch, but number okay. one, I, <laughs> number one, I didn't know Nick and Martin had a beef anyway. I didn't know that until number two, happened. number two, wait a minute. Number two, when I read the comment, I thought it was more like a joke at guy. Me, me too. I thought he was, I thought you were making fun of guy the whole, that's he why I was. was. Yeah. And then he took it the wrong way. Maybe I, now I'm mad. <laughs> I, was, I was joking with guy, but guy's legs were bigger. <laughs> now I'm mad. <laughs> My legs are bigger than both of them. So it don't matter. No, let me clear that air. I don't have any issues with Martin. Martin has so much issues with me. I don't know why. You said that to me on the phone, actually, because I called to ask. I called Nick. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, man? He's like, honestly, dude, he goes, I have no idea why he doesn't like me. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. And then that was it. So I don't know. Yeah. Listen, Nick, you're an easy person to not like. Yeah, I hate your guts. <laughs> I came out. I came out wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna say thanks, Vlad. I meant like he. I hate this. Okay, well, I don't. Okay, Martin, if you're watching, <laughs> Martin, if you're watching, I apologize. Look at you trying to tight walk right now. No, no, no. This is all I was gonna say. I can imagine being in Martin's position, seeing Nick have so much success, is making him jealous. I mean, that's no, the only because, explanation. Because that's the only Martin explanation I can come up with. Martin hasn't even competed that much to even like be jealous of anybody. He's still well, new. I don't know. He's got a fucking problem for no reason. Who knows? Anyway, let's move on. Um, so what else? Nick, no, nothing else is going on for you to talk tell a guy about, right? He's still in a relationship. That's good. It's going on months now. Wow, how long? Three. Three and okay, some change. Three so and some it change. It wasn't. A, I wasn't. It wasn't a test. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking. <laughs> how's your girlfriend doing? I forgot to ask you about that. Nick, how's she doing? No, no, I'm talking to you, mother. No, your girlfriend. How's your? I don't have a girlfriend. Well, how is that girl you were talking to doing? I don't have a girlfriend. The girl, you, I'm talk, the girl you were talking to. How's Who? She, you know that girl with the blonde hair and the. I'm and not. I'm, <laughs> So stupid. She, she put you all over her Instagram. Did you see That's her? Since you got, have you seen her since you got back? No. Yeah, you did. First thing you did, call her probably. Swear to God. Really? Is she coming over yeah. tonight? Is she there right no. now? No. <clears throat> all right. She's upstairs in bed. Come, yeah. She you want me to go upstairs? You want me to take it upstairs? <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think she's there right now, but I do Is think... It this is how OCD I am now. Did you break up with her already? <laughs> is that what happened? You fucked it up already? It's only been like two weeks. I right, listen. When I got home, the first thing I did before I left Sweden is I called my cleaners and I was like, can you guys please clean my house? Because they clean it every other Wednesday. Yeah. And I was like, can you guys please clean my house this yeah. Wednesday as well? Because I couldn't fucking tolerate the fact that I haven't been here for a week and my parents were here. And my house wasn't fucking spotless the way I liked it. So I made sure that my cleaners were here this morning cleaning my house. So I how had much do you, clean. How, how much do you pay your cleaners? 140. And they for one one cleaning? Wait, wait, wait. Come out. What does your house being cleaned have to do with seeing your girlfriend? I was trying to tell a story. I there was no reason. Uh, well, I was trying we'll to tell a story. To, we'll, get back, we'll get back to the girlfriend in a minute. So you pay six hundred dollars a month to have your house cleaned. No, no, no. I normally go every other week. So it's oh, so 300 bucks a month. Yeah, 280. But this, I wanted an extra cleaning because I was gone and I need my house fucking spotless. Like, as soon as I walk in the door, I all my laundry is immediately done. Do you tip them? No, $140. But I live by myself. They don't have to clean up. Cheap money. motherfucker. You couldn't just give them an extra 10 bucks and make it 150. For what? <sighs> because they're cleaning your dirty ass underwear. No, they're not. I do the one. They just clean my house. You just said they do the laundry for you. I said as soon as I got home, the first thing I did was my laundry. Oh, okay. so my laundry was clean, and then I had a clean you house. Scrub your toilet and shit. You can't give them an extra ten bucks, bro. That's they, that's that's their job. Oh man, you're so not making me. Mine, mine does my laundry. If they did my laundry, I would pay them. Well, yeah, but you're not tipping them. I'm not talking about paying them. You're not tipping them. Tipping them for what? For working Doing for you. Laundry. 
Yeah, but dude, they're here every week. It's not like a one-time deal where I'm at a restaurant. They're here every fucking so week. So wait a minute. So if you- I give them extra during the holiday. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to use your logic for a second. So if you go to the same restaurant every week, you only tip the first time. You don't tip ever again. I don't do that. <laughs> Cheap motherfucker. <laughs> you, tip him every, you tip him every time he's do Are you supposed to tip him? I really don't know. Is that a thing? I would. If it was 140, I would just naturally go, here's 150. Thanks. I tip my guy that cuts my lawn. So the, so the, guy, the, that cuts, the guy that cuts my lawn sends me a bill every so often. So the last bill I got was like 375 or 365 bucks or something like that. So I just gave him 400 bucks. Do you tip your athletes for doing a little extra than they're supposed? Well, like like for posting stories, like they're, they're not. To- they're getting paid to do work. They're not. They're not like doing. What do you stuff. think the one forty is for? To sit here and finger their asshole? It's different. I'm paying them to clean my house. What's the fucking tip for? Because they cleaned your fucking house. It's like a. Yeah, it's but a- hold on. I look at it like this. I have a four bedroom house. Debate. They don't clean my. It's basement. not a good debate, Nick. Nick hold on. Nick Hold wants on. a tip. That's why he's saying it. Hold on. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I live by myself in a four-bedroom house. It doesn't matter all- if there's six people living in your house or none. Because it's not that dirty. They're providing. Okay, when you go to Starbucks. I, I when, think 140 is when you too go to When mad. you go to Starbucks, do you tip? No. If you pay with cash, not your card. Like, if you pay with your card, no. But if you pay cash. If I have cash, if, if I have cash, I'll throw, like, it, like, sometimes, not all the time. Oh, just when you feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't Why? Know. Why? That's so rude. Sometimes I fucking, I, if they do a good job or I've been there like a couple weeks in a row and I'm like, yeah, I got some cash here. Yeah. I don't. I don't so, like, on the holidays, like on Christmas, I'll give them extra. I'm not saying tip a ton. Like, I even, saying, I, even give, like, I even give my garbage men like, like shit on the holidays. But no, 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 no. Listen, time. so I'm saying, like, if you go to get, let's say you go buy a coffee and it's like four sixty-five. Yeah. Do you just give them a five and drive away, or do you get your thirty-five cents? No, I don't. No, I don't. I never go through the drive-through. I throw that. They keep the change. That'll go on the change. Hey, you guys, so that's tipping. That's what I'm saying. So you keep the change. Keep the change. Hey, but I'm not giving them money. They're giving me back. I'm like, ah, hey, here you go. That's tipping them. You're giving them the thirty-five cents. That's yes. A tip guy. What? Okay, I'll give them next time they're here. I'll give them one forty fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Maybe yeah. I'm just more generous than you are. Uh, listen, I tip my garbage men on the holiday. I tip my cleaners during the holiday. I don't expect you to tip like, your garbage men. That's different. That's I do. It's To me, there's something different about, and maybe this is my own thing, there's something different about hospitality services than, than <laughs> like government services or like a regular job. Nick, what do you pay your cleaner? Uh, 180. And what do they do? They clean my house. And, and, do, do your and do his laundry. I do my laundry. Like, what do they do? Like, everything. Everything, yeah. So, he pays one eight, and I pay 140 I don't get any laundry done. Yeah, but do you, you tip him? So you, you pay 180 Do you give him a tip? Like, do you give him 185 <laughs> Or 190 Or just 180 They're out. But I expect that from Nick. He's 27 years old. I, dude, I, listen, even when I was married and we had a cleaner, I've never tipped my cleaners every day, every time. Not, never. I'm, I'm, pro- I'm probably different. I'm, I'm very like, I probably do it over the top. Like when we go to a restaurant, I'll tip 30%. Like I'll, I'll trouble, do that. Yeah. I just have trouble. <gasps> well, yeah. At, at restaurants, I usually tip big. Yeah. I just, yeah. I don't know. It's a thing with me. Do you guys- I, will, I will tip like complete shit if the service sucks. I just, I almost do it just because I like to see the smile on their face. And Me I too, never, but sometimes the service I is never, so bad. I, I never, can't. I never tip like shit. Yeah, I'll tip. I usually tip twenty percent. I mean, I guess if it's shit, I might, but that's rare. I, I'm saying, but I've had some. I've had service that's been like, oh. yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, interesting. I want to get a cleaner. I got to get a cleaner here. I'm surprised yeah. you don't have one. To be honest with you, Me too. Yeah. It's fucking expensive, dude. Man, it's like three hundred bucks to clean the house. <clears throat> Tip them. That's even more expensive. <laughs> I guess that's like, I mean, if I have them come here every other week, it's six hundred dollars, man. I'm gonna pay six hundred dollars. Why is it so expensive? Probably the I don't know the size. I don't know. That's a lot to clean the house. Three hundred dollars. That's what I'm saying, right? I wouldn't pay that. 
three hundred, and if I do it twice a month, three hundred is becoming a blow job. <laughs> happy, happy ending Please. before they leave. Yeah. Happy yeah. ending. Yeah. Anyway, happy worth it. So, how was Sweden? We haven't even talked about Sweden yet. We've been. It was good, man. It was a lot of. Uh, they, they had the first MPC IBB show put on there. The, the um, a couple of people won their pro cards. Gary Unit was the head judge. Um, the oh, show Gary was there. Yeah, it was uh, the, the the show that they put on. Michael <laughs> Michael Johansson, the owner of Gas Better Bodies. The fucking the stage was amazing. Um, the backstage looked like an Olympia setup. It was crazy. <laughs> Sorry. That shit was loud. Yeah, he's got no fucking button, this guy. Branch has got no off switch, man. Yeah, seems like it. So this Maniac. is the gym? Yeah. Is this the main gym you trained at, or is there other gyms that you went to? Uh, no, this was we only trained at this gym once. Oh, okay. Yeah. How were all the gyms there? Uh, they were good, man. Does it we bother you when the cable gym. strokes your dick like that? Huh? Yeah, he was that, that feels like it'd be uncomfortable. That was the only fucking thing that touched my dick for 13 days. <laughs> <laughs> Did I have hookers there? Why don't you get a hooker all your way? Bro, there's everything's illegal. What do you mean? We so one of the guys that was with us that was like like in the group, he had gotten in trouble because he was in the gym and they raided the gym. And arrested him on the spot because it looked like he, he was taking steroids. Took him to the police station, piss tested him, and while they were piss testing him, they raided his house. No, you are you fucking serious? Oh yeah, yep. When was this? Who was this? I, I I'm not gonna say who it is. It was one of the guys that was oh. with us. Yeah, and then they really? found like his stuff in the house, so they confiscated it. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. You can get arrested or taken into custody Just because you, you like look. you look like you take steroids. It's crazy. What the fuck, man? It's wild over there, bro. Wild. But how come nothing happened to you? Like, I know you're a little smaller than when you're competing, but you still look jacked. Like, why didn't you get nobody talk to you or Branch or nothing? Well, like, when we were in the gyms, like, we normally stayed covered up. Like, for the most part, like, we, yeah. like, when we were out in public, like, everybody had hoodies on. But it's not like you can't tell. Like, I, I do, and we kept saying everybody was staring at us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Like, because it was like, me, Keon, Martin, Branch, like, and then we had other guy like we had this guy that was six fucking three two set like we were with a lot of fucking big guys. So, I, I, if anybody from Sweden is watching the podcast, I forgive forgive me for what I'm about to say, but fuck that government. And that's, that's not crazy. it's not anything against the people. I'm sure the people. No, are, the I'm people, sure the people I, are, most most of the people there say they hate it. Man, that seems absolutely fucking ludicrous. That you could just be picked up and taken just by the way you look or the way you act or like. Yep. I'm never going to Sweden. No, no. I mean, I heard this back in the day when it Tony happened. Tony Freeman. The first Tony time it Freeman. happened was Tony Freeman. Yep. And that's why I got invited to Sweden back then too. Like, and I was like, no, I'm not fucking going, man. This is like, by, but I thought it all changed by now. No. Still the same. They're like cracking down hard, hard. How now. the fuck do you even work out then if you're there? Like, it, dude, they can come in. They actually, the guy said there's actually guys in the gym, undercover cops that like look for guys that look like they take juice. What do they, do they think? What? You know, what's really crazy to me about that is, since when is okay? So look, I know taking juice is dangerous, but since when has taking juice been a problem in society? Like, you know what I mean? It's not like other wreck drugs. Like people who usually, if somebody's stealing, it's because they're trying to fit, they're trying to get money. And for, no one uh, say, "Oh, he robbed the bank because he was taking D ball." No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like somebody's trying yeah. to somebody's usually stealing something because they're trying to get like a meth habit or a coke yep. habit or yep. trying to. Get, no one's ever fucking robbing shit because they're like, "I need to get my cestin on." Yeah, like it's fucking insane to me. It, it's like and if they're dumb, and if they're doing it because well we want to keep our population safe then are they arresting everybody who looks like they do heroin or looks it, like they looks like they smoke or looks crazy like, isn't that nuts nuts can you smoke there cigarettes yeah yeah everybody smokes so you can smoke which is proven to kill you yep but you can't take steroids nope interesting and weed is highly illegal like it's class Weed is in the weed same, is never weed has never killed anybody. In weed is in the same weed is in the same class as cocaine. Oh my god! What? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's like the most mellow people on earth who've never harmed a fly, and they're like, what "Kind of fucking country is this?" Well, you've harmed, but that's because you're a juice head. It's not because of the weed. Well, you just contradict yourself. Thanks, Sweden. <laughs> well, are they trying to stop people from fighting? Is that why? They're like, no, you're taking. I don't know. No, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, 
And ready for this? They don't give out life sentences. What? Do they have the death penalty? Somebody, somebody a couple of years ago, 10 years ago or whatever it was, this guy killed, I think, 90 people, like 90 like people he killed. With, and they did nothing to him. Automatic. He got 10 years in prison. He's already out of jail. So steroid user gets 10 years in jail, and so does the serial killer. There it oh, is. Awesome. Wait, 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 wait. He killed 90 people? 90 people, and he got 10 years, and he's already out. How do you and, have time and his, to And his jail cell, he had a condo, Wi-Fi, laptop. Like, they were they were telling me this, the people that live there, that he wasn't well, like... So... The reason I, I just uh, how do you have time to kill night? Was this in like a short time frame? Was this over a couple years? Oh, no, one shot. He was at like it, like I don't know if it was like a school or like an event, and he had an automatic rifle with like a bunch of clips and he just unloaded on everybody. So it was I like a mass that, killing. I know the jails there are different because they believe in, in rehabilitation instead of just yeah. incarceration. Yeah. But I'm sure there has to be a fucking limit for rehabilitation. If somebody kills 90 people, I'm like, I'm pretty sure. You can't rehab that fucking person. Who's getting all the rehab? There's no way you can. That's rehab. crazy. If somebody right. kills ninety, I'm sorry, man. Unless you, they, have- said, they said that the families of the people that got killed are like livid that he's out of jail. I'm surprised no one's killed him. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you only get ten years. Well, I mean, think about it. If you, I was just gonna say, if I'm only gonna get ten years, and somebody kills You're my gonna brother, get Wi-Fi, I'm gonna probably gonna go kill that. That's person. what they said. They yeah. said. That like that's the thing is like people can commit crimes like that and they know they're not getting a life sentence so they're like, yeah, crazy man. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of shit that we do that they think is crazy, but this is true. Whatever, it's fucking nuts hearing it from our our point. We had to sleep in a teepee the one night. That was rough. You what? We slept in a teepee one night. That was rough. I saw that. Was that on Michael's page? Yeah, and branches. Let me see if I can find it. Branch put it in his story. Oh, then it won't be there. But I wonder if Michael still got it. That was the roughest night because we nobody slept. We went like thirty six hours with no sleep. That's insane. That kicked our dick. That kicked my dick in. I was dead. <laughs> can I look? Can I ask you something? So when you have a table like this, excuse me, when you're sitting at a table like this, are you annoyed? A lot of people. Because. It doesn't matter where you sit. You don't get to talk to everybody anyway. Yeah, you got to get... I was constantly getting up and walking down, walking back. I try and sit in the middle sometimes, though. That way I can kind of hear most of what's going on. This was at a castle we took a boat to. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if there's any... I don't think there's a TP here somewhere. Or maybe... Let me see. No, this is just gym stuff. What's this? Yeah. This is back home in Texas, isn't it? Yep, that's his house. That's his house in Texas. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any TP shot. I thought I, I did see it in somebody's story, though. Maybe one of those next to it, the ones with the more photos. No, I went through those already. So we had, I'll show you this. So we had a, uh, we we're in a TP, and inside the TV was this like wood burning thing that you had to feed with wood. Dude, it had to be 90 degrees because they wouldn't stop feeding it with wood. This is how hot the furnace was. This is a picture of the furnace inside the teepee. Jesus. Like, if you touched it, your fucking sleeping bag was going up in flames. Why would... Is it that cold there? Dude, at night, it got to, like, fucking 20 degrees. 20 yeah, it was cold. Yeah, that's fucking cold. Um, so when are you going to see that, your girlfriend, guy? Well, I don't have a girlfriend. You want to get to see the girl that you're talking to? I'm probably never. I'm not talking to anybody. Did you break up with her? Uh-oh. I didn't break up with anybody. I'm not talking to. I can't. I have to date somebody to be to break up with somebody. Was that just ah. a one night stand? Ah. I don't do one. I never had a one night stand. Believe it or not, you've never had a one night stand. No. Me Nick, neither. You, Nick, you haven't Nick, either. You? Are you guys fucking serious? I swear to God, no. So you just yeah, had, you, you got just, you got me on that one. So I've never just, had I've never had a night where I just slept with a chick and never talked to her again. Me neither. Yeah, me either. I don't know if Summer's gonna watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I was eyeballing you hard. He was like, me neither. <laughs> no, I don't know. I I, I think because like I'm usually in a relationship. 
So like I never had the opportunity just to like fucking jump, I guess. Yeah. I never so, went out, met a girl, banged her, and then called it a night. Like, like you never, never went thought. to a bar. You never went to a bar, met a girl, went back to her place, and then just didn't talk to her. Again? Dick wet, and then went no. out. Really? Nick, you never done that either? I'm gonna tell you why. I have no game when I go out. I don't talk to anybody. You don't have to have game when you're drunk. You just like it just happens. I don't really drink often. So when I go out, I'm just usually going out with my boys watching them get hammered. What, uh, what do you mean you have no game? I don't talk to chicks, bro. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, so how do why would why would I tell you that? I'm admitting I don't have game. So how do you get talked about this before? I don't believe it. I want to know how you get so much pussy then if you don't talk to women. Yeah. Where, okay. Where's the p- w- pussy? How much pussy? Well, how did you get so much pussy without having a one night stand? What pussy? You, I, I girlfriends. We can name the girlfriends. How do you have so many girlfriends? You count like a girl that you banged like, like, went out for two dates a girlfriend? No. So how do you have like a, a hundred bangs if you've never had one? Who, wait, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. My number was not even near that when we were asking in the text message. I wasn't even in, I'm not even close to that number. I'm not even close to half of that number. <laughs> okay. Let's just move on. I, did, I think I could probably still count on hands and toes, fingers and toes. No. I think so. I'm not too far you're off. The, you're the, I go to war guy. You go to war with. I do. Years. And I go, yeah. Well, that's not fucking going. And there's, many, fucking, and there's, there's many and there's many battles for <laughs> No, that's not going to war. You can't gut, you can't gauge how well you go to war with like five people. <laughs> no, it's five. You have to have like a, a multiple battles before I you have can many say, battles under my belt. Before you can say how many battle for me. How good you are at war. Uh, listen, we can make some calls if you like. It doesn't matter if there's only fucking five phone calls to make. I just said, I said fingers and toes. I can make at least 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we know a guy's number. I feel better. I don't know my number. I'd have to actually sit here and you want me to go? I'm going to try to figure it out. How could you not remember if it's that, like, it's not that high? I'm going to get a piece of paper. Hold on. Oh, boy. How is it that he can't remember 20? <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a stoner, too, though. Stoner. He forgot them. What? How bad do those girls feel? Is that like not memorable? That I don't know. Look at the size of the piece of paper. I, got. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to need. <laughs> that old post it note. That's hilarious. Uh, all right. Let's see if I can do this. Who does this stuff on a podcast? Name them out who loud. Does this stuff? You, bro. Name them out loud. No. <laughs> yeah, we want names. No. I'm writing the names out. We'll show us the paper after. We'll show us the paper. We I will names. when this ends. What's don't, the... write, don't write initials. We want names. How many of them are ones that you would go in public with? The people that I know don't watch the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but like if there's 20, is there 10 that you'd be like, I wouldn't go in public with 10 of them? Are, um, they, I, are, they, there's, are they all? There's definitely, there's definitely 10 I won't go public with. Really? Wow. That's hilarious. Yeah. Because you probably know. <laughs> and we're stuck after this one. Um, I got it. I definitely know a few. Okay, while he's know. doing that, Nick. Yeah. What's your thoughts on Vegas and guys like Cutler claiming it to be the new mecca of bodybuilding? I've trained uh, at the Dragon Slayer. <laughs> what do you think about that, Nick? I mean, it's... It's got a lot of cool gyms, but I'm gonna say what Jade says. It's a dump. I think I, I honestly think Tampa is a really good place. I think there's pockets of like of like I'm surrounded by so many awesome gyms here. Yeah, but I've been to fucking Vegas, man. There's some really cool gyms there. You've never been to Tampa. I've been to Tampa. Not this Tampa. I trained a powerhouse gym. Which one? The main one. Isn't there only like one main one in Tampa? Did you use the 200 pound dumbbells? <clears throat> no, I've never used a 200 pound dumbbell. Heaviest mm-hmm. dumbbells I've ever used is 175. Neat. I can't. I just, no. Fuck that. No, I think that was probably the one I went to today. The main you, should stop, you should stop using 200 pound dumbbells. 
Why? Yeah. I don't, not think, I don't think it's necessary anymore. It's fun. Yeah, it is. I would do it if I could. <laughs> I did it today. I think where, if, if you had to say there was a place that was the Mecca of bodybuilding, where would it be? Uh, you could probably say Vegas, I guess. Do you think it'd be Tampa? Maybe Florida? <laughs> I, I think Tampa, I, I, it's up there. I'm telling you now it's up there. Tampa is up yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. Like, I'm surrounded by, like, three different powerhouses. Uh, there is, there just, is quite a few I, pros that live there. Yeah. Like, I live 10 minutes from, like, uh, Terrence. Yeah. And, uh, Robin? Yeah. Yeah, and, like, uh, the hypotrophy coach, Joe Bennett. I mean, De- Dexter's from there. Bill Wilmore's from there. I think there's, I think Bill Wilmore's from there. <laughs> There's a lot of different pros that are from. Well, there's just Florida. a lot of competitors in this area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could be. That's why I like training at my forty because it's 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 very serious there. Do you think aliens are real? If so, yeah. do you think there's any life on other planets as smart, if not smarter than humans? Yes. 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 <laughs> I think yeah. there's aliens I and on other other planets. So I think they're smart. I don't know, but I think there's aliens on other planets I, I think we'd be silly to think that this is the only planet that has life form on it well, <laughs> wait a minute when you say life form are you saying like there's bacteria and fucking shit no, no, or no, are no, you like, saying like, like there's I, actually like moving talking organisms I, I talking but communicating in some way yeah I, I believe that I don't believe it hmm. well you don't believe in aliens not in our galaxy I think there's no, not maybe not our galaxy, but there's there's aliens. I just feel like why wouldn't they? You know, everyone's like, "There's UFOs, UFOs." I'm like, "Why wouldn't they have made themselves known by now?" They're waiting. For what? They're waiting for the takeover. I got to hear this. What are they waiting for? Did you ever see World Wars or War of the Worlds? World War Z. What? World War Z. Yeah, yeah I did like see that. that. It's really good. Yeah, they're coming. They're, just, they're waiting for the right moment to strike. What fucking moment do they need? They're already more technologically advanced. What are you talking about? They're gonna blow shit up. Why would they want to hurt us? That, that also <laughs> that's a premise I don't understand. I don't know. They could, visit, they could visit without wanting to kill us. They could just be like, "Hey, who the fuck are those people?" If, like if we went, fucking... think about this. If we went to fucking Venus and there was life there, we wouldn't just automatically think, "Let's just kill everybody." Let me tell you something. If you saw an alien walking down the street, what are you gonna do? I'm saying if we went to Jupiter, you're gonna shoot that motherfucker. No, if we listen, let's say we sent a rocket to Jupiter. We're not going with machine guns. We're gonna go and be like, oh, there's a fucking alien here. Holy shit, take pictures of it and then come back I, home. I think we should go with machine guns and still take pictures with everything that's friendly. <laughs> Why? Why do you want to kill them? They didn't do anything. I'm not them. saying kill them. We, you gotta be prepared though. Well, you gotta be prepared, but I'm saying you you are under the premise that. They are coming here to kill us. And I'm like, why would they? Well, have you not seen the movies? <laughs> yeah. I'm just Bro. saying, I think if there's actually aliens, I'm wondering, like, why wouldn't they have made themselves known? And if they... I mean, unless, gonna... they're like, unless they're like E.T., then I'll, I'll, be, I'll be friends with an alien. Huh? I don't know. I don't <laughs> believe it. Even all those... You believe in ghosts? Who have? Uncomfortably, yes, I do. So do I. I don't know if I do. I did really, really. I had like a trauma with ghosts like 15 years ago, but now I'm like, I, I, th- I think like spirits exist. Spirits exist. I'll give you that. But I don't know. When, yep. I don't know in what form. I don't know if it's like in it. I don't think spirits exist in a ghostly form. Like they're going to appear, but I do think there's spirit, like spirit energy. Yeah, I believe that. Um, but aliens, you know, all the stuff that's been going on like last summer, with like all the all the alien all the UFO sightings and shit, I don't know, man. I still think it's the government. Really? Yeah. If people don't think that the government is like twenty years ahead of what we know, then they're a little naive. Like people think like uh, the stealth bombers like the best thing we got, and I'm like, I don't fucking buy that shit. Yeah, they probably have some shit that's way more advanced. They just never told nobody about. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? Like, 
Why would why would they let the public know if they have some crazy shit like that? Well, we'll find that on Twitter because Elon Musk bought it for forty four billion. Dude, that's isn't, crazy. Isn't that amazing? We'll find. We'll find he's, like, he's like, oh, you're not going to let me say what I want. Okay, I'll just buy your fucking little toy and I'll say whatever I want. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I think it's great. Forty-four billion dollars, like pocket change. He was like, "Yeah, sure, here." I think it's great, but now they're trying to block him. They're trying trying to block what? They're trying to block him from saying what he wants to say. How can you block somebody that owns the company? So there's a bill. There's Bill Two Thirty, which basically means is if I'm and I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but basically, basically what Bill Two Thirty says is that the platform is not responsible for what is said on the platform. So, like, if somebody says something on Twitter that is illegal, you cannot sue Twitter. You can only sue that person. That's what Bill 230 is. So it protects it protects the platform, which is okay. it should be, right? Because whatever you say on Facebook, it's not Facebook's fault. Yes. Right. So, okay. But they want to change that now. So imagine, if, so imagine if they got rid of Bill 230. That means anything you said on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, the, they would be responsible for so they're all of a sudden not going to let you say anything because now they're like well fuck, we're responsible so yeah. we better we better moderate all this shit that's crazy think, think of that right so everybody who's in their right mind should be against getting rid of bill 230 because you want as much free speech as possible i agree yeah, yeah. so if they make the platforms responsible for the things that are said on the platform then that's going to eliminate a lot of free speech because then the platforms are going to have to police everything that's said on the platform. Yeah. That's how they get at Elon Musk. Cause then all of a sudden his free speech shit goes up the fucking window. Cause now it's now he's liable. Yeah. That makes yeah. Sense to you? yeah. Yeah. I think that's stupid. I, I, I but think that's what that, but that's what, but that's what they're talking about now. The, the fucking gen, he, that Jen Saki chick that does the, the white house press conferences yeah she said we're looking to reform bill 230 that's she said it like two or three times in the last like couple weeks so if they do that and it affects free speech that's how they get around elon musk allowing people to say what they want to say now that being said that being said he you can't so let's assume they do that right and then somebody says the c word is bullshit yeah that's not, you can't sue nobody for that. You can't go to jail for that. So it's still going to give you some more free speech than, but other things are going to be illegal. So you know what I'm saying? You understand yeah. what I mean? Yep. Because right now in the current state, before he bought it, you couldn't say anything about the C word without it getting like taken off. Of course. Yeah. So even if they make the company libel, it wouldn't affect like how we discuss the pandemic or anything, because that's not, it's not illegal to discuss the pandemic. So we can so so there's still freedom of speech. Yeah, but I feel like yeah. it's going to be so. If the all I'm saying is if the platform you think there's going to be like a fine line. Yeah, because all I'm saying is if Twitter is responsible for the things that are said on Twitter, they're going to have to moderate it really heavily. So or they're that, going to have to fuck it, or it's going to have to be fucking like posted with like doc like a reference to for proof. Yeah, or or it might have to be like every every post might have to be modified or moderated before it goes up. Like, you don't know how it's going to be if that, if they get rid of that bill. So I just wrote a lot. I'm dumb. I can't think anymore. My brain's burning. I can't believe you're still writing. I was joking. I, I know. <laughs> anyway, for people listening, if I'm wrong about all that, please correct me in the comments, but that's kind of the last thing I saw on the news. So yeah, I don't know if it's right or wrong, but that's, that's the impression I'm under anyway. Um, what else is going on? Anything good? No, man, I'm just trying to fucking get back in the swing of things, you know? Are you, I, are you home now for a little while? Yeah, the only thing I have coming up is going to look at houses in Texas. <clears throat> how, did the last time, how did the last time go when you went? It, I, I saw a couple that I liked. They needed work. Um, not something I'd want to spend seven, eight hundred thousand. I don't want to spend seven, eight hundred thousand dollars on a house and I have to do something to it. Do like you, want to live, you want to live where Branch lives, right? And Around the area, like not yeah. super far. So yeah, that's a little more expensive because I know there's cities uh, just outside of Dallas, outside of the Dallas area, yeah, and, and outside of Fort Worth that you can buy like a really nice home for like six or seven, but you're driving half an yeah. hour, half an hour to Fort Worth. Yeah, this will probably be about like anywhere I live will probably be about 25, 30 minutes from like destination. 
Oh, so you're on the other side. Cause I think yeah, you know, I want, I want to be like a lake. I, I could, because I want a little land, Yeah, you know, because you're not going to find like big lots of land, like in that, in those areas, unless you go like, like an hour out. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like where like prosper, um, Salina, um, McKinney, um, Melissa, when Allen. Do you, when do you want to make this move? Is there any deadline or just whenever you find I would it? Hope, I would like to make it like before the new year. Uh, guy, you're going to have to take over the podcast for a minute. I got to go piss. Sure. So what are you eating, buddy? I'm eating up some chicken, a little bit of rice, a little string bean, a little mac and mac and nut oil. How much you weigh now? Uh, two, are you, two you, you came back down a little bit, right? Yeah, I was I was like the high, the heaviest I got like three hundred one. I'm two I'm two ninety three. You feel better losing that ten, those ten pounds? Yeah, you don't look smaller. No, I feel like I I've got like bigger size. I, I was watery. Yeah, it was just water. What did you cut down on? Was it um, just food? Yeah, we just like lowered um, all the all the carbs for like eight, like a whole week. Yeah, I just the weight just fell right off. And a lot, a lot of it at the time, I think, was um, a lot of it was like stress induced from moving and shit. No, just from being where I was, moving relieved me of a bunch of stress. Oh, okay. Do you like uh, training where you are now? Yeah, I train. I do so many cool gyms. Like I have the powerhouse. There's like another powerhouse, and then I mainly train at MI40. So Is there that big world gym over there? It's powerhouse. Is it powerhouse now? Was it used to be worlds? No, I don't think it was or is it a powerhouse. I think it was just always powerhouse. That big, that big one. Yeah, that's powerhouse. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Yeah, but MI forty is where I always train when I'm in Tampa. That's an awesome gym. But then they have uh, there's this other cool gym called Pack Animal Fitness. That's really cool. Is that it's kind of new, right? Yeah, that's where like Derek Lunsford would train a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, he used to train at MI forty back in the day. He still does. He still does. We're supposed to link up the train soon together. So that was one thing I couldn't wait to get back home. And like, I could like nothing when you're, when you train at like a consistent place, nothing is better than like going to your home gym. Of course. Cause you're used to things feeling a certain way. Like the leg extension feels a certain way, like the certain leg press, like certain machines. Well, yeah. And that's just what you're used to. I hate being out of my element and I miss you guys too. I do. I miss my dogs, a ton, my dog a ton when I went to Texas. For I was gone for four days. I don't know how you did it for thirteen days. Fuck, man, I freaked out. I it, it doesn't bother me because I know that like I know who's watching them, so that gives me some reprieve. They're happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like my my dogs love my mom and love my dad, and like I know my parents take care of them, and they like they they don't fucking like I'm very my my dogs are very I don't know about you, but my dog has my dogs have a routine. Yeah. Like wake up in the morning, they go out, they do this, they do that, they play at this time, they eat dinner. They, like so, I like the fact that like my parents keep them in the same routine and they don't get out of it. My dog's routine is a little different, only because my routine is different every day. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, because sometimes I have a podcast or I don't have a podcast yeah. or I have meetings, so I take them to the park every day. But sometimes I take them to the park in the morning. Sometimes I take them to the park yeah. in the afternoon. Like it's just different all the time. Yeah, I usually play with them before like I go to the gym, like right around like three o'clock. I'm outside with them. What? But if it's if it's shitty out. Are you I don't have to go to a park, which I think makes it a little easier for me. Yeah, yeah. I walk yeah. out the door and play when I'm right outside. Yeah, yeah. You know? I usually take Dora for a walk every morning. Uh, yeah, I don't do the walks with my dogs, not because I don't want to, but because I don't have to. Well, I don't, you don't have to. You, you live in an open yard, basically. Yeah. I don't do the walks because I like watching them sprint. Me too. I, I, love like, I feel like he gets a lot of exercise when I'm chucking that ball for like half an hour. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I take them to a dog park. Yeah. Oh, well, um, well, all right. Let's do some questions here. Let's do it. Uh, now that some of the crew is retired, thoughts on any recreational sports post bodybuilding, MMA, <laughs> golf? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu once I lose some more weight. Wait, what did they ask? What did now that now that some of the crew is retired? Is there any emphasis on any other sports? that you want to try or do. Yeah, how about you, Guy? Who is going to do... Um, if I go to... Uh, if I go to... Uh, one of the things I, I started doing with Branch when I was there was riding those cutting horses. If I moved to oh. Texas, probably something I would do because that's fun as fuck. That looks awesome. 
but it's not it's not easy like cutting horses is, i've never I, i've never i've never even been on horses what's, like, what's cutting horses i'm going to show you cutting i think horse is, a, close. is a horse that cuts a cattle out of a herd like sometimes like there gonna be a herd of cattle one's injured it needs antibiotics it needs something so the horse cuts the cuts the cattle out of the herd like gets the cattle away by itself oh. check this out so branch did two copies. are you the one riding the horse this is yeah yeah branch just looks like a cowboy eh? like there's no fucking mistake in it love him that's a total cowboy couple well he's wearing a cowboy outfit no but even if he, he just but i could wear that cowboy outfit it looks stupid of course is it because i'm brown or just because yeah that one? why, <laughs> why are you racist uh, there's just not a lot of brown cowboys why are you being racist though? I can't be a cowboy. You're like my wife. Yeah. When I told my wife huh? I want to buy a motorcycle and I was buying a skull cap, she's like, Do you think you're white? I go, why? I go, brown guys can't ride a Harley. She goes, Well, she said, <laughs> she said well. I said, I said I was gonna I was gonna like grow my beard and like wear a skull cap and ride a fucking Harley. You're gonna fucking spray oh, really? it and put a little fucking rubber band at the end. Because that's how her dad her dad has ridden bikes all his life. She's like, You think you're my fucking dad, don't you? And I'm like, Does he have like one of those leather vests? Her dad is her Aren't dad they called was, the cut? What are they called cuts? Yeah. Her dad was actually in HA for a fucking long time. He, he's actually like a really cool guy, but he uh Looks she's like, like he, she's like, Are you trying to be my dad? I'm like, no, man. She's like, You're just like him. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't think you have to be fucking white to be a cowboy. I'm offended. Sorry. You don't have to be white. <laughs> Ooh, you can be whatever you want, bro. Thank you. Look at anyway, this is what branch but uh, so that's a cutting about. so that's that's what they do so they got either herd of cattle he just cut that cattle out of the herd and you got it you got to keep it out of the herd until until it gives up and walks away that's the point look at this call look at this comment lee haney awesome branch is that a quarter horse or arabian i have two quarters and one arabian one tennessee walker and one paint nothing like being a cowboy even i had a dually track and a deer tractor i guess i just got fucking denied yeah he's see, black see him? he's black he can be a cowboy i know darius rucker is a country singer there you go but there's no brown see it's the in between i get fucked all the time yeah you can't you gotta be I'm, black I'm, or white i'm 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 light and i'm olive <laughs> you're not olive you're white he looks white i'm the, no nick's white you're the same color as nick no, I'm not. I'm done fucking. And are you gonna look in the podcast? And I'm, I'm, I'm an olive. Shade. I'm looking in the podcast. He's you're white. Guy. He's you're more white. tan than you. I'm are. fucking Nick. You're whiter than a baby's ass in winter. Okay, not, I'm not fine. that white. Why white. is a baby's ass in winter whiter than a not in winter? What the fuck does because that mean? They, because we, in winter you're always white, and then they wear the diapers. So you're more white. <laughs> they wear diapers in the summer. Yeah, but people are always whiter in the winter. You mo. <laughs> Do you think it? Yes. Uh, skip. skip. <laughs> you answered it without even fucking saying yeah, the question. It's, it's not worth it. It was like, yes. Can you mix up proteins aside from the usual suspects, beef, chicken with ground lamb, elk, and venison? Of course you can. Why not? What? Yes. You can mix up whatever the fuck you want. Oh, as long as the fucking, as long as you're not, you can't mix up like a, 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 a white fish isn't the same as salmon because of the fat content. So you, depending upon what they're oh, eating. Oh, did he mean like switch them or did he mean mix I think them he together? meant swapping them like you can't swap oh. like beef for chicken or chicken for beef that's not a no swap. that's right yeah and you can't really swap usually you can't swap ground beef for steak depending on the cut because one might be way leaner than the other like venison yeah. is super or you just have to know the cuts of meat well I'm just saying like venison is usually super lean right yes oh yeah so you can't really switch venison for like fucking a ribeye no like I would yeah. switch venison for more like bison or chicken than yeah. I would anything else yeah 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 okay uh, I, like, I like bison. Bison's awesome. With how universal the sport is, how would bodybuilding shows go if there was fan voting that impacted judging? That's a horrible idea. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't. I think people forget that it actually takes skill to be a judge. Like you, it's have not to really, easy. You have to really, really know what you're looking at. You can't just say, "I like this physique. I like that physique." Because just because you like a physique, it doesn't mean it's better than the other physique. And a lot of times you're going to be biased towards a physique that better suits your body. Yeah, it's not easy to be a judge, man, especially at these at this level because these guys sometimes are so evenly matched that it's hard to. You have to like chop their heads off, meaning yeah. like not 
take anything else into consideration. But it's not even, but it's not even chop their heads off. Like somebody like, let's, I'll give you an example. Somebody may look at Raphael, for example, and think Raphael's got a beautiful physique. I think he's my favorite physique. It's exactly what I think bodybuilding should look like. Everybody, Raphael should win every fucking show. But Raphael's not the best bodybuilder because he doesn't fit all the criteria of being the best bodybuilder. No. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not easy to be a judge because number one, you have to take your own biases out of it. And number two, you have to understand why the criteria is the way it is. It, it takes mm -hmm. practice to do what those guys do. I think oh. I, I don't, uh, I don't think fan voting would be a good idea because there's too many people in the stands that don't necessarily know how to parse a physique out. I agree. I'm going to say this just because I haven't fucking beat the shit out of my legs in a very, I'm so fucking beat up right now from training today. I I'm, I'm, done guy how much gear are you on right now one shot a week i i was gone for 14 days and i took one shot since i left dude i was telling nick i did my blood work and my doctor was on the he was in the car driving and i called him and he's like okay let's go through it so uh -oh. he's, he's like what's your test levels i said two he goes your test ah. he goes your test level is two i go yeah i go I, i'm doing like a shot every three weeks he goes man he goes you can't fucking do that that's that's probably a worse stress on your body. He did. He told me. He's like, dude, that's he's like, that's actually not good for you. He's like, you got to be in the normal range at least. Yeah, dude. So what I gotta start doing now. I gotta start doing like a shot every week. So yeah, are you taking a piss, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> Guy, you have to pick one. Me. No, I don't want to do this one. Forget it. Yes, I do. I do. Oh, I want to do it. I want to do it. No, it's not good. Wait, I got a question. Yeah. Why did you just say, guy, how much gear are you on? Like, I look like I'm on a lot of gear. No, because I said it because you're not recovering. So I'm just wondering, because I have, I'm having a problem recovering too, because I'm still no, training. I didn't say it like you own a lot of gear. You look like a skinny fuck, man. Yeah, I didn't say it like Nick, you. Nick, I'll seriously beat the living shit out of you next time I see you. You look like you've never taken a gear a day in your life. But I think you you took it the way you wanted to take <laughs> it. If this wasn't being it. recorded, I would say something to be such a cop, but I'm going to give him a Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. Dude. I do know what you're going to say. <laughs> what are you going to say? I'll tell don't you later. say it, guy. I'll tell you no, later. Oh, fuck this. This is an inside joke. I don't like it. It's, it's not an no, inside it's joke. Not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I, I just know how insulting he's going to be. That's why. <laughs> um... They barely move. <laughs> Let's see. I started dieting today. For what? Just because? I said, you know, classic. I started five days ago for the Fuad Abad Classic. I figured it's, I figured I'm not traveling. I haven't been fucking like following like a strict diet. Summer's coming. I'd rather just fucking be in shape. So I figured why not just start fucking get, you know, getting shit back to we should have a contest guys so you can get more shredded done actually today you'll lose 100 percent bro you oh no i think i'll pick fuad or a guy on this wait you, you just both of us. us no i said fuad first i meant to say guy no you're wrong i'll take your i'm gonna take your money nick so wait wait you think in bodybuilding you were you've gotten more appeal than me because i guarantee yeah. that's no. oh, i guarantee it has for sure absolutely oh, not God. Absolutely, a hundred percent guaranteed. One hundred percent, no. One hundred percent, definitely. One hundred percent, no. One hundred percent, one thousand percent. Pick your we'll best you. show. Do you want to do this? this year for you want to do this? Pick, pick your show. Okay. Pick it. I know. Guy is so confident. I love it. Guy is not definitely not more shredded. Let's go see. Ahead. Let's see. Let's see who else. You go ahead. Where's yours, guy? No, no, no. I always go first with this shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, I got to find it. It's going to take me forever now. Oh, right, here we go. Why? Because it's from the 1965 fucking NPC. Well, I'm not, pick, I'm not picking one that was fucking this year. Of course, I got to go back. <laughs> what? Did, did, did they have internet back then? Yes. This one's, this one's pretty good. But no, pretty not good. that one. Here we go. Let's just do the next question because this is going to take fucking 30 minutes. Okay. No, I want to know. Okay, this is, I've seen guys best. What, what was my best? Let's see here. I got to find it. Is wheels turning? Nick. I know exactly the picture I'm looking for. I just I was I said a video because I, I can. There's oh, video. I need a video. I don't have a fucking video. What are you talking well, about? because you you because a video is a lot harder to alter the fucking lighting. I didn't. I didn't. But I'm just saying, like, 
I don't have a video of that show. Oh, so the show you look better than me at, you just so happen to have nothing on. <laughs> I don't have a video of that show. <laughs> Nobody was more fucking cool nonsense. Than me. I got to deal with. I read both. No, you didn't. Nick, send me some uh, sauces. <laughs> Do I look like the owner? My arms are bigger than yours, guy. I know that. Bro, bro, fucking three-year-old's arms bigger than mine. Congrats. You want your trophies or my TRX? <laughs> Take my TRX. It's not worth it right. anymore. <laughs> guy, you want the mutant sauce? Send me whatever. Whatever you like. All right. I was I, I actually liked them, but once they came out with the cream of rice, I just couldn't fucking do anything. You can still use the sauce. Yeah, but that's not what they wanted. So I couldn't, you know, if they if it was cool just to use the sauce, I probably would have done something with them, but well I think I think Brett does that. No, I think Brett does a cream of rice too, though. I, are you sure? Because I would still see him. I'm not, I'm not hundred I'm not hundred percent on that. I would still there. see him use the uh... there you go, guy. My Arnold package was better. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Dude, look how fucking shredded I am. Are you kidding me? He's on an ounce of Oh, no, you're shredded, but I was more shredded. Yeah, I have, I, yeah you're peeled, no. but... No, neither one of you is Look at your shredded. hamstrings, though. That's really cool. That's because it's of you. torn, Nick. It's torn. No, neither one of you is more shredded than this. Oh, okay. that one's torn? This is torn right here. You can see it. You sneaky fuck you. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Look how peeled the rest of it is. It's still yeah, but it's torn. That makes it look cooler. Well, of course. I, I use it to my... Your advantage. ass is fucking peeled. I'll give you that. I got you beat, guy. Go fuck yourself. Let's see, guy. Guy, what year are you? Picked uh, 2000 and... Uh, I don't know, 16, 15 year pro. No, you know what? Pick 2016 Miami pro. Peeled. Inside out. I'll be, I got a picture on my phone. I'll pull up. I was inside out. Images. Let's see this. This is a video. Who the fuck is this? Oh my god, look how fat you are in this picture. In this mm -hmm. video. <laughs> I better this see is your some best. Ass. This is your best. Wait, yo, bro, just look wait, how I'm smooth. Not... Look how smooth it is on the side there. Look, look, smooth. I can see the lines already. He's yeah, the lines like... in the back, but the side. Look at this. How smooth this is right here. Well, Nick, see, I, I'm, so I'm actually giving, giving you, you a nice see, unfiltered. You, Nick, a nice un, wait, just wait, Nick, <laughs> unfiltered fucking video. Why does your tricep have a hole in it? <laughs> wait, just wait, Nick. Look at his back fat right here. Look. Uh, <laughs> oh, just wait. It's not even deep lines, man. Wait. Oh, well, he's 212. Are you kidding me? Get out, out of here with back. that shit. Your back Get out of so here with Get out of here! Get out of here! No way, this is even They're close. nuts! <laughs> They're nuts! They're nuts! Look at that! What do you mean? It's not Look good. Get out of here. Do you want to find it? Look, get, come on, bro. Sit, look, look at those arms. Woo! Woo! I fucked me right there. Me up. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> I love you guys. We're forever going to be competing. Me and you? Yeah. You'll probably do this about five more times. We're probably going to do this when we're 75. I think I'll pick Fuad for that one. Yes. <gasps> you were wrong. Find the you... video, I said. My video is probably still fucking better. Hold on. Watch. Here, watch. I'll find a video just to shut him up. <laughs> Here goes this guy with the phone. Because it's all, it's all picture bullshit. I don't play that game. <gasps> I'm going to show you a, sh a show I wasn't even <gasps> fucking shredded at. I'm still shredded than you were in that fucking video. You're high as fuck. <gasps> Here, watch. You didn't even look shredded in that video, though. What? It's hard to see that. Yeah, it doesn't look that impressive. <gasps> yeah, look at my leg, asshole. <gasps> it's feathered a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I love competing with Fuad. I know it's so fun. <laughs> okay, ready. I wasn't even shredded at this show. <laughs> what am I looking at here? That's a pretty good leg. Hey, look. You know how small you look. Let's see the back. 
You want a back shot? Yeah, I Here. want to see the back. Here's a back shot. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's a back shot. You're, you're fat. Well, this is, all, this is not even contest time, though. Oh, I'm just showing this? you said you said I want to see a, a back, so I'm showing you what a real back looks like. You do have a good back. <laughs> you do got a good back, though. Uh, where the fuck is that video? Look at this, Nick. That's fucking. That's real shape. You had a nice tight uh, stomach. Look at the man. quads. This motherfucker tries to talk about legs. Look at these legs. Fucking... What did, where? Where? Where are your legs? <laughs> where? All right. Where is that fucking video? It's got to be here somewhere. There it is. What, what year was, was this? This is 2015. Look at guy. Look how lucky you your back didn't have any of this. Look at the what? detail of my hamstrings. Your back if didn't have any hamstrings, of that. You got one line. Your back didn't have any. There's cross strations in my back. hamstring right here. Cross strike. Wait, cro I, dude, for what? where's your hamstring? You look like somebody cut it off. What are you talking off. about? Are you crazy? Your fucking mind. I feel like you should show my hamstrings. Fuck you guys. Okay, let's go see what Nick's hamstring looks like. Let's go to the Arnold Classic. You know what I mean? Let's see. Don't show his hamstring now. He's got all those ingrown hairs in his fucking hamstring. Let's see Nick's hamstring. You got to scroll all the way down there, Jim. He shows his hamstrings every week, Wes. I know. I know he does. Oof. Well, there it is. Look at that one. Where? This one? Look at that ass. No, not Where? that one. I had an Arnold picture. Did you pass that? This there, one? look at that. Fucking yeah. Arnold. That's pretty crazy, I have to admit. All right. Well, he's got me beat. Kind of. I mean... Mm. The lines aren't too deep here compared to me, but I'm not really squeezing my ass. Yes, you are. That's yes, you totally are. I'm not. I'm not that. It's, I'm not overly impressed. <laughs> not overly <Hi>. impressed. <laughs> my hamstrings the size of you. Uh, you keep it up. It's gonna be your last year to compete. So I'm gonna break both your fucking legs. <laughs> You're gonna come visit me in Tampa. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. When you come home to visit your parents, I'll snipe you. Yeah. <laughs> Why is my Remember I have this stuff? What stuff? What is it? What is it? Is it it's called angry egg? duck sauce. No, is it good? Does it make you angry? It's actually really fucking good. Who makes it? Angry duck. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you get it in stores? Huh? <clears throat> do you get it in stores? No, uh, they sent it to me. It's really good, but I they sent it to me twice. It's like a pineapple base, and I put a little bit of Fucking hot sauce on this. It was good. What do you got there? Uh, fish, green beans, and rice. Disgusting. Fish, fish is gross. Disgusting. Why? It's fish. Gross. I love fish. You like fish? I don't. Ugh. Yeah, gross. Really? Yeah. Gross. What about gross. sushi? I can eat sushi. No. Right. You know, wait, you don't eat it. sushi. Wait, wait, you don't eat sushi either? No. Really? You don't like sushi? Huh. Interesting. No seafood for me. All right, listen. What's the coolest moment bodybuilding has brought you? And don't say meeting your wife. Okay, I won't say meeting my wife. What's the coolest moment bodybuilding has brought you? Brought me. Um, one, one, one moment? Yeah. What do you mean by brought, like brought me what? Like, what is the coolest thing that's happened to you because of bodybuilding? Traveling the world. I got to do an analyst job with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's pretty fucking cool. Look at those veins, bro. Dude, you're like 200 pounds. Dude, being ripped when you're skinny is not impressive. Um, first of all, I'm, I was 213 this morning. Okay? So let's tone it down with the fucking disrespectful comments before I get upset. For me, I would say probably buying my first house. Although that was yeah. pretty short. -lived. That's a good one. Moving into McDonald's Ranch wasn't the fucking highlight. He's he's not buying this one. He's renting this one. Oh, I thought you bought a new house. I'm renting this one for right now. Oh, good choice. Yeah. Then I take back my comments about the color. Shut up, your fish. Is Hostile becoming a full-on apparel brand? No, we're not. We're definitely a supplement <laughs> brand first. We're a supplement brand with apparel. Um. <sighs> You not find any good questions? No. I think it's because we've done. I think it's because we've done so many of them that it's hard to find like a fresh one. 
Why don't you ask us a question that you want to know? Fuad. I have already for the last hour and a half. What have you asked? I don't want to know anything else about you. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> what do you mean? What did I ask? We've been he talking. Said, okay, we've I'll been go. talking for half. We've been talking for an hour and a half. We talked about yeah, your house. Good. We talked about your house. We gave us a house tour. We talked about your relationship. We talked about guys trip to Sweden. We talked about his TRX. I mean, we talked about a lot of stuff. You see it? All right. <laughs> Do you what? see it? What? Did you actually see it? See what? TRX. No, but you said you just got a black one like mine. No, it's like uh, it's not oh, black. gray. It's gray, right? The dark gray. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want to show it to us? It's dark out. Okay. <laughs> what was the point of bringing that up then? I don't even that. Uh, I treat this like a phone conversation. This is weird. If you had to choose, would you rather have Fuad's head or a week for a week or Ian's calves? I don't think my head's big or anything, is it? No, bald. Oh, bald. Like Ian has small calves? Yeah. Really? Where, yeah, have, you been? Where have you been for the last fucking two years? <laughs> Will he be mad if we pull up his calves on here? Or you can't find a picture? I don't know, I'm sure he won't. He's not, not unaware of it. He knows. Are they really small? He trains the shit out of them. They just, I don't know. Everybody's got a genetic flaw, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm short. Oh, there. Nick, tell your girlfriend I said hi. His calves aren't small. They're just small compared, compared to like his legs. So he has big calves, but they're just small comparison to his quads. I'm not saying, I don't know, man. I'm just saying. <coughs> I don't know. I think he's got little calves. But he knows that. But how hard do how, how hard do you still train? Me? On a scale of one to ten. Me. On a scale of one to ten. How hard? <laughs> from I, I like have... fuck. <clears throat> from bodybuilding to not bodybuilding. So if do you still train till failure. Yes. So I'll tell you the, the truth. So bodybuilding every day was 10 out of 10. Now there's two things at play. One, I'm retired, so I don't need to go 10 out of 10 every day. So some days are like a nine, eight, or seven. But there's also my kidneys are a factor. So because I have like kidney issues, yeah. it's actually not healthy. Are you, it's actually are your not kidney healthy. Issues, are, you really, are you really bad or no? It's not really bad, but it's bad enough that I should start taking care of them now, right? Well, it's probably bad enough to where if he doesn't do something, it could get very bad. And yeah, tra like, training hard affects that, right? That's right. So the more the harder you train, the more muscle waste, the more it taxes your kidneys. So, so do you do you train more frequent than not, or? No, I still train five days a week. I just don't go ten out of ten like, every workout. Like, and I've also changed my training style where it's like one you're still all, like one set now, right? Yeah, one all out set instead of like the way I actually wrong. like that it's good for me now I can't do like failure sets like three failure sets per exercise I can't do that it's just well, too I, much. I do that sometimes but even now I feel like it's very beneficial to take like yeah. one all out set to failure well there's a bunch of different benefits to it because I feel like you can get stronger quicker yeah but also recover faster yeah, yeah. so you're able to hit it more frequently why are you asking guy you do you you still try and go the same guy trains balls to the fucking wall I try to, yeah. I have to go up and down. I can't do it every day. It'll just be bad for my body. Yeah. I can't. I just, it's not healthy for me at this point to be doing like failure every single day. So like today, like today we did shoulders. My shoulder workout, like I, my shoulders were a little bit like kind of painful when I left and I had a good pump, but we knocked it out in half an hour. What? Yeah. Wow. Like literally. You, no. What'd you do? What'd you do? We did, uh, this is including feeders. So okay. we did like six sets of reverse pec deck. Then we did uh, four, four sets of dumbbell laterals or five sets of dumbbell laterals. Then we did four sets of Smith machine press. Then we did three sets of machine press. Supersetted with machine laterals. And that was it. Were any of the sets taken to failure or no? Probably four of the sets, four? of all of That's all good. those of all those sets, but we just 
<laughs> it's not the same thing going to failure when you're going super fast. Yeah. I train like that. Because like I'm going to failure with like half the weight I would normally go with if I was taking a big break, right? I don't know. I've always trained fast and I was always able to handle heavy, heavy weight too. No, no, no. So have I, guy. But I'm talking today was fast, fast. Like we, oh, finished, okay. we finished in half an hour. Like, no, I remember literally. you said the way I that I was that like I trained by myself was too fast. Remember? Me and you, me and you didn't train very differently at all. Like when I was competing, like our training styles are actually pretty similar. Okay. I just mean today was like guy had to go pick or not guy. Paul guy had to go pick up his kids and I'm like, let's just fucking knock it out. And he just went, I went, I went, it was literally no like rest at all. That's what I like. So, but no, even more so than like, usual. when was a lot like normally shoulders would take me minimum 45 minutes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Shoulders yeah. is a small body part. Yeah. So finishing in half an hour to me was faster than like what we yeah. do. So anyway, but yeah, that's kind of what my training is like now. So some days are easy like that, where it's half an hour fast, bang it out and get the fuck out. Sometimes I'm like, do I do like, I go all out, but I'm like, do I do too much because I'm not taking nearly as much in like recovery. So I'm always like, like going back and forth in my head. Like, I just, I you know what, man? I honestly, because I'm retired, I just go by instinct now. So like on leg day, we went in for Saturday and I did like nine plates on the squat press. I did fucking... Or on the hip press, I, I did seven and a half plates on the machine press, and then I did uh, six plates on the hack squat. Like, and I just went balls to the wall and fucking. That's pretty heavy. Yeah, like I went crazy on leg day, but then on chest and shoulder day this week, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking kind of just take it easy. Now, when you go like that, especially on legs, do you feel like shit the next day. Um, my legs are sore as fuck, but I don't. I don't like feel worse. I just know it's not good. You don't, you, you don't feel run down. I feel run down, but not any different than when I was like competing. I just, I just know it's not healthy to be doing that every day. Do you yeah. usually take a day off after legs or no? Sunday's off. I do. I still like, I train legs today. Tomorrow's my off day. So just Saturday, to- Saturday night's my cheat meal. Yeah. And Sunday's my day off. So when I train legs Saturday afternoon, what did you I- have for your last cheat meal? Pizza wings. <laughs> I love that combo. Man, it's so good. What was what you have for dessert? And I got to cut that shit out too now because like my kidneys are obviously, it's not me, it's not healthy to be smashing a fucking medium pizza. I had a Ben and Jerry's little. Nah, I think we talked about this on the, on the fucking Telegram app. I think one cheat meal a week to go like eat what you want isn't going to affect your lipid profile or your kidneys like that. No, no. There's a difference between a cheat meal and a binge meal. So if a cheat meal is like a burger and fries, I don't think that's going to affect you. But if you're eating a medium pizza, 10 wings, and a pint of Ben, a pint of ben and Jerry's, that's a lot of load on your body to, to handle. You're probably spiking your blood pressure. You're, you, you know what I mean? Like, it's a lot, there's a lot of sugar that's got to be filtered. Like, it's just a lot of shit. I mean, if I do, like, I've done a pizza and ice cream before. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you have, if your kidneys are functional, it doesn't fucking matter. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. But if your kidneys, kidneys are, if your kidneys are already like on the decline, that's something that's going to contribute to making them worse. I'm saying even just once a week doing it when you're if eating. It's, if it's a bin, if it's a binge, yes. Okay. Binging is not like it's it's really really bad for like the body in general, but even more so if you have any issues. Yeah, I don't know. I like to me. I mean, I guess when you say when you have kidney issues, but to me, like a medium pizza, some wings, and a Ben and Jerry's isn't like over the top dude that's like five thousand calories that's over the top it's not over the top because we live in a bubble yeah true if we were sitting with normal people and you smashed a medium pizza 10 wings and a pint of ben and jerry's all in one sitting i've seen girls do that i know but it's our world right it's not like in the normal world yeah in our world that's like a run it's like a fucking typical cheat meal yeah but we don't live in the normal world we're a little fucked hell no we all fucked up um wow sure. that's a that's a really tough question i'm not gonna answer that why dude i'm not gonna answer this it's if you if you had a chance to say one last thing to cedric John, oh no goodbye okay yeah no, 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 saying, like, just trust me on these ones when i read them out when i say no um mm. not always yeah not always you're right um <laughs> uh, Everyone on the podcast plays tackle football. Who would you want on your team? I want um, Guy and Ben. I'm taking uh, Ben, James. 
You know, no, I think I think he, he purposely doesn't want to pick the guy that played for, for football for 15 years just out of spite. <laughs> just to get under my skin. He just oh, rather he rather not pick me just to piss me off <laughs> when I'm the only one on the podcast that played ball. <laughs> you you know me so well, I love it. <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna pretend like guy never played a day of football and pick ben, everybody out. Ben James. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking you, buddy. Don't worry about it. All right, I'll take guy. <laughs> I can't take you. Nick picked you. I gotta, I gotta pick against Nick. What is this like a kickball game? I can only be on one. Yeah, team? yeah. Me and Nick are the head coaches, so I'm picking Ben. Right, Nick, Nick. Oh, wait, hold on. I already picked Ben. Nick. You can't have Ben. Okay, fine. No, hold I'll on. Take... Nick, ready? Who would be your first pick? Okay, go first pick. Ah, uh, now you're fucked. <laughs> now you're fucked. <laughs> I'll still love you either way. It doesn't matter. Come on, Nick. Spit it out. I know what you want to say. It's a toss-up here. How's it a toss-up? Did Ben ever play football? Did I miss something? He played soccer. <sighs> okay. I'd, I'd, I'd pick Guy. I'll take Ben. Tackle football isn't soccer. And I know there are people who are going to say <laughs> soccer is very fucking like they can't make content. Go ahead. What's your say? Who's your second pick? No, who's your first pick? No, 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 no. I no who was that pick? I picked Ben. Go, Nick. Do I get the pick? No, it's your hey, setup. Can I fucking speak? Go ahead, Nick. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to pick Ian. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, I'll take James. The shed. He's athletic. Who's, who's left? Don't say anything, guy. You got it. I don't know who's left. No, he can't help you. You gotta give me options. What the fuck? Don't say anything. You fuck. Shut up. <laughs> Don't. He's not even part of the podcast. You can't use him anyways. Can I pick uh, Jamie the Giant? No, he's not part of the podcast. That's why I was saying. Like... The other one. No, he's a special guest. He's not like part of the crew. Pick Paul as your coach, your offensive coordinator. Yeah. Uh, come on, come on. Hit, I don't want to pick him. You got Ian and Guy so far. And you got who? Ben and James. We're going to kill you for sure. Get the fuck out of here. We're gonna, my team is going to run over your fucking team. Who's going to oh, run boy. over fucking Ian and me? James will run over both of you. Hmm. With Ben blocking. No. Yeah, 100%. And I got Ian and Nick. And me blocking. I will take, I'll take, right, I'll take, take Nick, it. I'll take Nick's knees out. What are you gonna do with me? Ben will flick you away, and then James will just run through. Ben, Ben's gotta catch me first. Well, he's gonna be running right in front of James. He doesn't have to catch you. Guy, guy's gonna hit low. He's taking out ankles. Taking out fucking motherfuckers' knees. Y'all be fucking then it's James against Ian. James runs right over Ian and keeps going. He run over Ian. I don't think I so. I think James. Do you guys stick... actually hear my dog snoring that loud? No. <laughs> Listen. No, I don't hear it. I would pick Justin. Pick? Justin? I'll, pick Justin. I'll take Roman. Well, you're not going to be throwing the ball to Justin anytime soon, so. <laughs> no, no, no. He'll, he'll block. He'll be the running back. You got to stop that. I'll take Roman. I loved I actually got mad at Justin. I, he, I was like, Roman, go on. Next. <laughs> I don't know who's left. Paul. And who else? He wants you to pick Paul so bad. I know he so does. Mean. No, I don't. He's the only one left. I'm just saying he's the only one left. Bullshit. He is. Who else is left? That's it. That's everybody. I know. So, you. You're so Paul is Paul is the referee. So basically, it's me, Ben, James, <laughs> and Roman. That's a okay. team of that's a team of killers. Are you kidding? Versus me? versus those European motherfuckers are just dirty. They'll keep, they're gonna fuck you guys up, bro. Yeah, the European. The funny part about it is they don't they don't have. He picked all European guys who don't have American. Don't people. matter. They're fucking na they're nasty, brutal motherfuckers. They don't. They have rugby. They have rugby. Those guys are just. I don't know. They're they're cut different. Bullshit. I'm telling you. Me and Guy are taking ankles out. Justin will be trying to have a conversation while Roman's like stomping him into the ground. Roman's got bad hips. No, he's got titanium hip now. He's like Wolverine. 
Yeah, but some of those titanium things have plastic parts too. <laughs> you just made that up. <laughs> no, when Ronnie blew his fucking what is it back apart is because he fucking broke the plastic pieces or his hip. The screws, the screws. Yeah, the screws. But they were plastic. Plastic screws. Roman, I'm telling yeah. you, Roman. Roman's are probably kind of the kind of guy who doesn't feel pain. Right, you give Roman to play, be like. Uh, no, the- I'll just tell Roman. I'll be like, look, Roman, run I'm straight. Gonna, I'm gonna have the ball. I need you. Why you? Because the I'm the smallest. The I'm the smallest, so I have Roman, Ben, and James just run in front of me and mow all you three down. Get it's like f- a happen. Oh yes, it will for sure. Can we, play, can, we, can we have a? Can we have a football? Would you guys be up for a football game? Oh yeah, I'm retired now. Oh. I, Nick's not allowed. It's in his contract. Can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> wait, then wait. Well, then, then I'm down a player. Well, it's not my fault. Nick signed with me. You can't do anything. Then fine. What about I'll pick uh, Samson? You can have uh, Paul instead of Nick. I don't want Paul. <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> I don't want Paul. Paul's good. He's athletic. I'm telling you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, you can have him. He's got. A, he's got. A, he's got a good basketball game. You got really? it. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> He's better than me, that's for sure. Not that that's saying much. But that's not hard. To, that's not a hard fucking. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I guys, guys, gonna pick Samson. You can't. Samson's a is a guest. He's not part of the crew. Well, there's nobody left of the crew. That's what you I'm have saying. to be. You have to be friendly. And you got to take Paul because Nick has in his contract. He can't play anything. So I just. Get, so, so by default, my team sucks. Yes. You can't hear that. Listen. Don't shh. listen. I can hear my cat meowing. I can't hear your dogs. Listen. I'm listening. Yeah, I, mean, I don't hear the dogs. Please don't shush me. You didn't hear that? No. Oh. Who had have you ever seen Paul seriously angry? Not not seriously angry, no. Yeah, you see really? never? I, I've seen him angry, but only at me for purposely making him angry. I've never seen him like actually seriously like angry like I'll beat the fuck out of you if you don't get out of my way. Really? But I know Paul has that in him. I just I'm just surprised you've never seen it. He's yeah, changed he changed a lot after like we became friends. Before me, I guess Paul was like actually pretty notorious. Uh, that's... Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's it's really shocking though because I know so I've heard stories and he's told me stories about him being more angry, right? <laughs> And then after he got older, he started channeling it and being different and he's more chill and he doesn't like, it's hard to make Paul angry. You really got to fuck with him. Really? You really, really got you. Really Is that gotta, why he like, smokes a lot of weed now? Because he's fucking chill, Paul? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe the two go hand in hand. I don't know. But he told me, you know, I've heard some stories about Paul, so I, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't fuck with him <laughs> on purpose. But uh, yeah, he said he left it all in his past. He said he don't fucking, he's like John Wick. <laughs> digging up the digging up the fucking crate in his basement, yeah. getting all the gold shit out. Yeah. I'm coming for you, Fuad. Um that's funny. For all the guys, if you could have stood next to any pet no, we did this already. When will hostile sign Paul? Paul's signed by default. <laughs> Paul got picked last, and he's got a fucking sponsorship you don't know about. <laughs> um, what's what? What's worse, farting sounding like someone crying, or every time you sneeze you pass out? These Where do they come? Like, who are these people that say these things? But it's not even on the same like fucking. Hemisphere. In your in your honest opinion, would Luke have been top five at the O if he was still alive? I believe yes. yes. I don't know where in the top five. If I had to put Luke in last year's Olympia, he would have been in the mix with uh, Nick and Hunter, for sure. Yeah. If if not if not higher, but for sure that in that mix. Um, would you rather free food, gas, or hotel rooms for the rest of your life? Ooh, free gas. Free, oh, hey? free food is big for me. Oh, I get free food is from a food sponsor, so that's fucking stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the free gas. I'm gonna go with the free gas and be like, "Fuck, food! I got rid of his TRX, and I got free." What gas. a minute! Wait a minute! What if? Ah. 
having free gas made you give up your free food? That's not what the question said. I'm, no, there's no loopholes. You have to ask. The, you have to answer the question. You can't just be like, "I already have free food." You get so one I free. Pay, you get I, one I still food. would. I still would think. So free food, any so I you I could eat out every meal. Yes. Or free groceries. I don't know. It's just food, so I'm assuming it's everything. Is this free food? Like I can go to the store, get my groceries, go out to eat. Get free I'm assuming food. so. Yes. What was it? it? Was food? It was food, gas, or what? Hotel rooms. Okay, hey, hotels are stupid because we all have fucking houses and a place to live. Yeah, but um, what if you travel? If you think about it, you could travel and just stay everywhere for free. You could go wherever the fuck you want and never have to pay for a hotel. Yeah, but think about the money you would save on food and gas. Yeah, but think about how many trips you would take if you knew you had a place to stay everywhere you went. You'd have to pay for it. I don't travel, so that doesn't really bother me. Because you have to pay for hotels. Well, and think about this gas too. Gas is also if you have a house that's fucking has gas, that's that's a big bill too. So you're saving on fucking the car and the house. No, it's not. A gas bill is like three hundred bucks. Okay, it's still three hundred bucks a month. The hotels are nice. Hotels are three hundred bucks a night. Three hundred minimum. I mean, a really nice hotel is like fifteen hundred. Think about it. You can go to a hotel and stay in like a two thousand dollar a night room for free. That's three hundred bucks a month. That's thirty six hundred a year. That's a lot of savings. Hey, thanks, <laughs> thanks, mathematician. I could stay in a thirty six hundred dollar room for every, for five nights in a row for free. Yeah, but we're, okay. So you're gonna you then you gotta pack all your shit up and go elsewhere. I'm gonna fly to fucking. I'm gonna fly to Vegas. That's not and that's not free. The flight's not free. I don't care. I'm gonna fly to Vegas once a month, and I'm gonna stay in their nicest fucking hotel room, and I'm not gonna pay for it. I don't have a big appetite. I'm taking gas. I'm taking hotel rooms. I can afford my gas and my food. I'm good. I think I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take food. So we're yeah. all different. I just want to travel more. So I'm like, why not? I travel enough. I stay and enough. I don't even eat. I don't even eat that much anymore. So like, whatever. Hey, I eat a lot. Like my McDonald's bill is the biggest bill I have. What's that bill? Like forty bucks on average. A month? No, per meal. Canadian, just like 30 American. <laughs> That's still a lot of Mickey D's, bro. What do you eat from there, bro? You oh, have a dude. dollar, I man. Gotta, I gotta stop. See, again, this is part of my dilemma with what my what, what do you what do you what do you have like an order? Is there yes. like a foo my Yes, wife? yes, yes. Go ahead. I've told everybody this before. Okay, I don't Please. listen to that time. It's always a Big Go Mac. On. I'm not yep. it's a always a, a Big Mac, a McChicken. Sausage and egg, uh, two double cheeseburgers, and usually instead of the fries, I get a poutine. A and then I'll usually get a double a poutine, like the fries with the gravy and the cheese. They don't have that here. Yeah, I know. And then uh, two baked apple pies, two muffins, and usually a uh, what's it called McFlurry. That's eleven things because I'm out of fingers. Well, what do you want from me? I'm hungry. That I would say is binge eating over yeah i know that i think a pizza and wings and a pint of ben and jerry's is way less worse than that probably but it's still binge eating either way ah i think a pizza pie is like i think an average person can eat a pizza pie and and, and it's not about being able to eat it but okay watch do you eat all of it at one sitting yes do you shit your bow ring out when you're done no actually my body digests it very well (laughs) Oh, is it, remember we talked about that on Telegram. Everybody was saying how ridiculous it is that how fast McDonald's actually digests. So I don't know about that. Little C's, okay. Papa John's pepperoni pizza. That's not real pizza, bro. You that's like disgusting. Okay, what do you want me to? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to find an average here, man. I'm not trying to like. You know, Papa I think that pizza's worse because it's garbage. Okay, this Domino's extravaganza feast. Is three th- is- Papa John's. Okay, fine. Papa John's. What's wrong with you guys? Papa John's Super Supreme Pizza. 3,300 calories. Okay? okay? That's most people eat that in a fucking day and a half. That's not that's fucking... True. That's a big... Can, can you do like Can you do like a like an average restaurant pizza? Because I feel like that would be less... What the fuck, man? Are you serious? Why are you getting all upset? Look at you. 
Because you're just trying to make it difficult. Here, fine. No, this, I really think it's that much different. Fine. This just says pizza, regular crust. That's 25. When you oh, that's when a, wait, that, dude, that's a that's at a minute. When you less. when you get a cheat meal and you bet you go to a restaurant and get a or do you just call Domino's? Let's come to my house. Ew, I I dude, I, I would never call Domino's okay. ever. I you're not you're not the average person. The average bodybuilder, when they want a pizza, they'll call whatever fucking places around their house. Be like, send me a medium pizza. Usually, yes, and most people live like pizzerias that are way better than fucking shit Domino's. How much you want to bet, bro? I I think more people order pizza from a pizza. Why do you think there's so many fucking Domino's? You think it's because mom and pop pizzerias are more popular? No, I think it's people people fucking rather fucking spend less money on fucking. Good That's pizza. right. So more people are probably ordering Domino's. Nick, what? Well, Nick, go ahead. I don't like pizza, but I would get Domino's. Most people would because it's just obvious. I don't believe that. Okay, especially just... especially the cinnamon sticks. I like the cinnamon. That's how no, we're talking. We're talking pizza. Okay, listen. Do you I'm ever gonna... have the cinnamon sticks? That's some good. Oh, shit. I didn't post it. Okay, Papa John's Pizza Supreme. I don't right. like John's, but I like that. Okay, we're gonna do it just for the fucking thing's sake. 3,300 3, calories, guy. Okay, that alone is a binge. Then you go. To, That's you go, pizza. That's then pizza. you go six. Okay, go ten wings, calories. I spelled it wrong. That's okay. Uh, eight oh six. Eight oh six. Okay, eight oh six. So now we're at four thousand. And fifty four grams of fat. Holy shit. Four thousand, and you go pint of Ben and Jerry's. That's a lot. Calories. A thousand calories on average. So now you're at five thousand okay. calories, guy. It was right. Five thousand calorie, man. You said five thousand. I did because I've checked it before. That's why. Three, <laughs> three, two, one. Five thousand calories. Oh, you got your eyes shut. Do it again. Three, two, one. You can't hear that. I heard that. That's him. I heard that. Listen. I, I heard it. I don't want to pause every time you want to. It's a fucking podcast. We're going to be like, everybody be quiet for five minutes. <laughs> okay, good. That's good. Don't post it. Well, yeah, post it right now. Okay, so 5,000 calories, guys. So you're good with that being a binge, right? You got to do your McDonald's order now. Holy fuck. That's God. like, that's why his kidneys. Bad. If he <laughs> actually stopped. If he I'm, didn't curious, go to I'm curious. If he didn't go to McDonald's, his, his fucking his health would be so no, much better. Get the cal- get the calculator out, guy. Big Mac. Hold on. I got the calculator. I got it right here. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm curious on this. Big Mac nutrition facts. Okay, that is that's way more. 250, 257 calories. As for Big Mac? Yeah, just 257 calories. Who's calculating? Oh wait, no, that's 100 grams. One second, one item, 563 calories. Who's calculating? Guy, you got the calculator? Oh, you want me to? Do it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, All right, go ahead. Go ahead. I thought you said you had it. Go ahead. Five five sixty three. Yep. Bro, that's for the Big Mac. Sausage and egg, McMuffin. Hey, come on, bro. That is four hundred and fifty two calories. <laughs> okay, so now we're at two of the eleven items. We're at a thousand calories. McDonald's double cheeseburger. We get two of those. I know. One second. So 437, so say 874. Oh, that's good math. Uh, sausage, double cheeseburger. What else I say? Uh, a putan. No, no, there was another sandwich. Oh, it's a McChicken. McChicken. Um, that is 357 calories. Jesus Christ. Okay, your putan. McDonald's poutine, 800, poutine, 870 calories. You got two of those? No, one of those. So what the then, fuck? Oh, I, I fucked up. Come on. It's How do you fun. fuck up? I fucked up. What you was that first? all over again? Yeah, do it all over again. It's fun. Holy fuck, guy. Okay, fine. Start with the poutine. No, just start where you want. No, to stop. No, Big Mac. Start with the poutine. It's right here. 870 calories. Go ahead. Type 8, in 870, 870 guy. I I put I just hit plus again and it didn't it didn't calculate it. Write it down. 870. <laughs>
Yep, I'm ready to incalculate it. Okay. We'll, we, we'll both do this. Guys, it is. No, I got it. Shut up, you fucking tool bag. Go. <laughs> 870. And the second one is 563. Yep. Sausage near me came up. Uh, the <laughs> sausage and egg is 452. Yep. The McChicken is three fifty seven. The cheeseburger is eight seventy four because it's two of them. Okay, so now I got all the sandwiches, and we yep. got the and we got the poutine. And the poutine. You got the Big Mac. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, I did. I thought that was the first thing. I, no, I didn't. Okay. No, we forgot the Big Mac. Uh, 563. Do you have 563 written down, guy? Yep. Yeah, you got it already. I got 870, 563, 452, uh, 357, and 874. Yeah, that's all the same. Okay. And, okay. The put and the poutine. So then we go to baked apple pies. Can you just type in apple pies and McDonald's? Just no, we got to give me specific. Yeah, but 200, 230 per pie. So 460. 460. Yeah. To make. McDonald's muffins. Uh, and a McFlurry. Wait, one second. <laughs> Two McDonald's muffins calories. Cows. Uh, between 360 and 430. So let's say 400. So, 200. The, so 800. 800. Then we got one large McFlurry. This is going to be the top right here. This is going to put over 5,000. Easy. 165 calories. No, that's what? not right. No, that's not right. That's not right. Uh, not large cup. 803. <laughs> <laughs> 5,179. Is it? Yep. Yeah. So it's the same, guy. Fuck you. That means it's the same. So I'm exonerated. Yeah, but hold on. I think if it's pizzeria, it's still pizza, like I think it's going to be less. No. Pizzeria pizza was twenty two hundred. Okay, plus but even if it calories. okay, but even if it's less, how much less is going to be? Five hundred calories, fine. So no, you're eating. So you're the, eating forty five hundred. If you did a large pie, it was twenty two hundred plus a thousand Ben and Jerry's at thirty two hundred versus five thousand. No, you forgot the wings. Oh, I don't do wings. Well, I do. You're 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 this fat. <laughs> you're you're this fat man. If you're eating, listen. If you're eating four or five thousand calories in a sitting, that's a binge. That's a fucking binge. That's most people's what they eat. Most people eat 2,500 calories a day. Most fat people don't. Most fat people don't. But that's even fat people eat like 5,000 calories a day. Not in one sitting. True. Yeah. Anyway, I'm making a case. I'm making a case against myself anyway. I shouldn't be doing that. But I'm doing a, I'm going to put a poll. Would you rather eat pizza or eat pizza or what? No. It does. I already said I would rather have McDonald's or pizzeria. That's what I always get is pizza. I just like McDonald's. Most people order Domino's. No, you're asking the poll. You're asking is McDonald's or pizza, and I'm saying I'd rather have pizza also. No, I said pizzeria pizza over Domino's. Most people are going to say pizzeria, but I'm saying I think if you took it down to the numbers, just the sheer fact that there's more Domino's pizzerias than anything else means more people are ordering Domino's. Okay. Why would there be a Domino's on every? So you're corner? saying you, you're saying most people don't order Domino's because they like it better, just because it's more convenient. Yeah, I mean, look, my favorite pizza place is around the corner. It's like a real pizzeria. Okay, that's. I, I thought you were saying most people would rather eat pizzeria pizza, and I'm like, there's no way that's. True. You mean fast food pizza like Domino's? Yeah, no, I'm not saying that. Okay, that's what I thought you were saying, and I'm like, no, that, that's, that's anybody stupid. anybody who's had both can tell the difference. It's not like I know Juan Morel loves fucking Pizza Hut, like even over like regular pizza. He loves. I, pizza I love Pizza Hut, but not better than Pizzeria Pizza. It just depends what mood I'm in, though. Sometimes you yeah. want shitty pizza. I like Domino's. Domino's can be good too. We had Domino's in Texas. It was pretty good. I like the sausage pizza from Domino's. I like the cheese filled crust from Pizza Hut. I like the cinnamon sticks. Sticks are good. Bring you two fat fucks just fucking drooling. <laughs> it's bodybuilding. Bodybuilding has done this to me. 
Turned you into I, a fat fucking. I never flop. had a fucking eating disorder until bodybuilding. It taught me to like diet all week and then have a cheat meal. That's just bodybuilding. Oh, that, was, that was that was that was Chad. <laughs> Chad Chad was the main main culprit. But that's what everybody does. Everybody has a Saturday night cheat. That's just the what bodybuilding is. Like Friday, Friday, Saturday. Are you gonna do that? Is since we're dieting together? Have a cheat. Yeah, every week. Yeah, I'm still gonna out diet you. It's, not, it's impossible. It's not impossible. I'm, old, I'm older than you. My skin is so thin. It's like it's like it looks like penis skin everywhere in my body. You you look like ball sack skin. <laughs> <laughs> my ball sack is so tight though, because it's small. <laughs> That's good. You I got like two fucking skittles in a deflated balloon. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> it's pulled real tight, man. It's like <laughs> Not with your fucking two testosterone score. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore, baby. One shot a week. I'm going. I'm going back to normal. <laughs> I I'm not. I literally in oh, two and a half weeks. I've taken one shot. Yeah, I mean that's what I. I just listen. I was the last time I did a shot. I've been Nick shaking his head like we're doing no, no. something wrong. Listen, listen. Two shots ago. This is probably like six weeks ago now. I'm like, okay, I got to start doing because I was starting to feel kind of shitty. It'd been like four weeks since I did a shot. I was like, I'm going to start doing one a week. I'm not going to fuck this up because I don't want the peaks and valleys, right? And then I waited three weeks and I'm like, oh, fuck. I forgot. I just, every time I have to do a shot, I'm like, I don't want to do it. Next it's, thing I know, like three weeks go by and I'm like. It's the older you get, the less you're like, fuck, I don't want to pin myself. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Nick's, <laughs> Nick's like, it's great. What are you talking about? Like, I wake up every morning, like, fucking get, get the day started. <laughs> 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 my morning, it's my morning coffee. My morning coffee. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Fuck. Let's uh, we'll call it a night. Guy, tell your girlfriend we said happy. We said we said hi. And... I miss you guys. Yeah. Don't go away for so long next time. Oh, so we both. Did you explain to everybody what happened on the podcast? Because Fu had text me, and I was like, "Yes, that's one p.m." my time and i fucked up and it was actually 1 a.m oh that's okay we had a great time with paul last week Fuck him. oh so you were sleeping i was passed out sleeping it was 1 a.m <laughs> paul filled in okay we had we had good conversation yeah that was actually fun yeah actually <laughs> i mean don't worry guy we still love you i hope so. yeah hope you, so. we love you guy i'm not going anywhere i know please don't please don't stay don't leave ever who would I fight with? Yeah. But now I know you're so good. Half your fight for you to come out of your mouth. I know what you're going to say. Yeah, I know. That's okay. All right. Let's call it a night. I'll uh, talk to you boys next week. All right. All right. End it, but don't end it. Okay. Ending it. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.